All right, we're back in here, man. Getting back to it. The Rabbit Season podcast. I believe this is episode 14. You know, we're back to it. I'm going to be official and consistent with this podcast. And it's dope, man. We're, we're going to set it off like this. I got to pop the cam for it. But it's uh, the homie, man, the rifle, man, L.A. Cool's in the spot. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, man. Hey, Going man. On. It's been a it's been a little while um, since you've been through, but um, it, it's dope to have you, uh, you know, come to our platform. You know, when new stuffs dropping and stuff like that, man. We appreciate that shit as hip hop heads, man. Hey, uh, I, w- I wanted to start this. You know, obviously, you know, there's some things going on. You guys been pretty busy, which we'll get into all that and stuff. But um, I just saw uh, this is the life again. Uh, the other day, dope, and uh, dope film, dope I don't film. know. I don't know how many times I've seen it already. I've seen it quite a few, but it, you know, it's one of them things that's like, um, it's inspirational in the way that sometimes, you know, I, we work hard too, even providing platforms or putting shows, whatever we're doing, and uh, you know, it, it feels good to remember why we are doing it, right. and that's some of them vibes, man. I, I just wanted to talk about that, man. You were um, one of the youngest at the time when that when that was going on um just kind of uh you know explain the vibes of that place for those that don't understand because you know the la underground scene and you know some of the essence of where things came from is uh just a big part of hip-hop in general but especially coming from over here on this side i know how it feels man to 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 be there and stuff like that man so i just want you to talk on that a little bit man that that film is dope by the way yeah man a good life it was uh I guess it was almost, you know, you could call it like a hub of yeah. hip hop talent. You know, uh, the some of the individuals we would call it like the, the dojo. You know, it's like you go in there and everybody in there is high level skilled. So you will always have to be on your toes inside the good life because you never know, even friend, you never know when it was gonna be time for you to battle and things of that nature because it started in um 89 you know really kind of start kicking off in like 90 but it started in 89 and you know at the time you got to think this was pre-riots right before the riots the vibe in the city it was it was getting a little high it was you know a lot of violence and stuff was going on so kids was just looking for uh, outlets and places to be that were alternatives to the street and especially me because you know I was in I was in the streets like you know rolling with gangs clicks crews posses and stuff like that doing a lot of knucklehead you know sort of stuff so I personally myself I needed a place too because you know I'm also from a um, sec, uh, second generation musician as well my mom's nice. singer you know my uncles guitar bass players so my whole family are like musicians so i'm a second generation so you know the streets was just slightly getting me veered off into the wrong direction but it was always in me to do music because you know i've been doing rapping since you know i was basically like uh, i said about 12 years old and took it serious as i got a little more into mid-teens and things of that nature but once we got to the good life it was like i immediately went from gang banging to the good life yeah the moment that i went to the good life i totally stopped like it was almost that day even though there were other circumstances regarding yeah why I stopped, you know I, I was doing some wild stuff so i, I had to kind of ease back a little bit because things got a little thick and, and and you know people was running their mouths on the side you know it's like my name was coming up to some stuff and i was like dang that's how that's how they do it on the streets yeah. so i eased back but i went to the good life and then the moment that i started going to good life i never stopped going from the first time i, I never stopped going well i went one time and then uh i didn't go for maybe a couple of more months and then when i went back in a few more months you know it went from like from eight people to like 16 people yeah and then from when it got 16 to 20 and i was like okay this 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 place look like it's gonna be cool where it gets you know? around man yeah it's, it's but every single thursday from the very beginning there was more and more people because yeah. i was there since the very beginning when they used to have tables and they used to have popcorn um you know families would come like i was there since the beginning but then 
every Thursday would get more. You would see more people, more people, more people. So it just start building up. And, you know, once it, it built to a certain level, all of us could not stop going no matter what because our highlight of our weeks of our lives was the good life. You know, I, I feel you on that, too, because, you know, especially at that time, too, you know, I was veering in the wrong direction as well. And how far along is debatable, man, because, you know, we were getting in trouble and stuff, too. And and uh, uh, hip hop, you know, they say and it, it sounds cliche, but hip hop saved, saved me. my life. Yeah, man. It, That's a fact. I really feel because we started going to studios and different things and you channeling and that, and that's the thing man i'm glad you you spoke on that but it's like channeling almost that same energy or aggression that you still might have but yep. you can be productive with yep. it in the in the studio and man and that's what made yeah. <laughs> that's what made the difference of me and a lot of other people because say we were talking off camera you know saying about how certain rappers are certain ways we're basically saying i said that uh you know, you see these some of these so-called conscious rappers and talking about all this beautiful peace stuff, and then when you meet them in real life, they're assholes to the highest degree. Yeah, yeah. And then you see a person like me who rap about whatever he want to, whether it's violence, whether it's guns, whether it's chicks, and, and then also talk about positive things too. Me, I think as an artist, you, you have to be more well-rounded than just stuck in, inside one lane. So my lane is uh, I'll talk about anything that I feel that is worthy to be spoke about. So, you know, what what was the difference of me at The Good Life and just in hip hop, you know, we were doing like these high level styles, but I was really the first one to do these high level styles and be talking about street stuff. Because yeah. like I said, I was directly from the street going to The Good Life. Like I wasn't trying to be no flower child and about peace and and all of that but and that's that's not disrespecting nobody nah, that's everybody like that has either. their everybody own thing. has their own thing yeah yeah that wasn't my lane and why should we all be one way you know like i i like the aggression when me when i listen to hip-hop i always like those aggressive like say like ll when he was in battle mode, he'd be yelling at your ass. Yeah. I love like that bad, shit. Like bad when he came out with bad. Man. <laughs> here, bro. I, I love that <laughs> shit. Yeah, I'll yeah. turn that shit up like yeah. he yelling at me and run. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Can you hit my friend? Oh, yeah. Tread, but then they said rap was crap. Yeah, I'll be aggressive. like, oh, shit. Like, it really, like, <laughs> it, like, pumped me up. Like, oh, shit, you know? And I love that. So I took that out of the people who I used to love. And, you know, I like the aggression. I I'm also an aggressive person. I'm a Taurus by a Zodiac. So it's in my nature, too, to be bullheaded and aggressive. Yeah, yeah. So I like to put that inside my rhymes, you know. So it that's it fits me because guess what? If I didn't, then I'd be fake because I'd be trying to do something that's not me. And I think that's where some of these so-called fake conscious rappers, that's what they're doing. They're doing something that's not really them. So when you meet them... You'd be like, that's fake. You can see yeah. that that's not them because that's a character that they created. I didn't create a a violent, unhinged <laughs> rap character. Like, that's that's just me. Hey, you know what? Here, here's the thing. I, I've seen myself, you know, being around this industry and, you know, creating and being, you know, part of a platform all these years. Like, I've seen it myself. Sometimes it's like, you know, I'm not like no groupie status like i sometimes i just appreciate the artwork yep i'll give someone their props whatever shake slap hands with them whatever maybe take a flick even but some of these dudes you could tell right off the bat man it's like damn dog, what are, like I'll, I'll stop the i'm just gonna stop at the first part of the conversation i, I sense an asshole here you know what i mean yeah and, and i've heard stories what's crazy is some <laughs> some of uh people's probably favorite heroes uh maybe conscious whatever um, I've heard some stories from some people I know they weren't lying that said that this happened to them. I'm like what <laughs> and yeah. I, I trip out See, man. Like the, just... recent things that that's been going on yeah. so many people have told me things about individuals like oh I'm glad that somebody said something because I had just one run in with them I had just there's so many different stories that you get DM'd and people call you about things and you like see people were waiting for things to so waiting for somebody to say yeah. something and i just happen to be a person that 
I had to stand on what I stand on. I'm not, you know, I don't sugarcoat things. Um, if, if I'm, if I don't feel it, if I think uh, it's unjust or unjust, I'm gonna say something about it. And that's just me. It's not yeah. always a personal thing. Like I think people, everybody, of course, have their own opinions about everything. But at the same time, like say like at shows back in the day. And, you know, I won't name any names, but they, you know, fans will tell me that they tried to holler at so-and-so or tried to get so-and-so's attention, and they just walk right by them. But ask around about how many times that I didn't got fans inside shows when they didn't have money, when they were young. I snuck people back yeah, door. Right? I give them passes. I do all sort of stuff. Yeah. And yet I'm this wild, crazy, unhinged individual who who's uncontrollable. No, that's I'm a I'm more like to me. You have to have life balance. I didn't create the term yin and yang. Yeah. But Eric, some people try to be like. I'm just yang. Yeah. Or I'm just yang. Yeah. You fake as hell yeah. if you think you're just one or the other. Mm -hmm. If you think you're a saint all the time, you you're faking. Yeah. If you think you're a, a a tough guy, hardcore dude all the time, you're faking. Or, yeah. or if you're bragging about being an asshole all the time, like ah, I'm an asshole. Like yeah, yeah. you're, you're, you're <laughs> faking. Like, you know, so it's you. Everybody should have some sort of balance in, in life, and if you don't, you need to to gain some. See, I'm one. I'm one of those dudes. I'm like you. I don't know if it's a thing how we grew up. We moved around a lot. I had, you know, I had to always be alert. Maybe, maybe I don't know. But some of us are just not wired. And I'm not. Again, man, I'm not even trying to. I don't go around trying to act tough. You, everybody knows me. But people do get really surprised when I say something like direct back because I'm not wired to where if someone says some like something I don't agree or some straight foul or disrespectful shit, I'm not able to just kind of laugh it off sometimes right. I, I always i usually probably say something back pretty direct and then they, like whoa shit I, right. I guess rabbit's an asshole like no 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 i'm not but you just provoke that part no, maybe and it, this this is the thing some some people they don't they don't understand they think that they can say things to certain people mm -hmm. and not get a reaction out of them because sometimes they're used to not getting a reaction but what we all have to understand is everybody is different yeah you could say the same thing to 10 people and not get any reaction but once you get to the 11th you might get slammed on top of your head and and here's the <laughs> and here's the thing too <laughs> obviously <laughs> obviously social media is you know a lot of it but you know it but you know back in the day when you had something to say to somebody you said it usually directly and you know it wasn't over a keyboard or whatever and it mm -hmm. It got to, you know, obviously gets to the point. Sometimes people can say whatever they want about whoever they want and not have, you know, any consequences to that. Yes. Like, you know, like when you like they say when you uh, used to say something to somebody, you, you get punched in the face. Yeah. You, know? you know what I mean? And that that's the thing I think sometimes people get carried away with is, uh, you know, taking that extreme. Hey, let, let me tell you, here we are, man. This is a. Uh, we're already getting to it. I know anybody that's going to listen to it knows what we're talking about, but it's, it's because like two years ago, um, it was probably about two years ago. Cause we recently looked two back years. to the old. Yeah. And, um, uh, when you first were talking about this thing, how it popped off, you know, what we're talking about it's quality, but, um, <laughs> you, 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 uh, you, you talked about that briefly. I mean, we didn't harp on it too long then either. Right. But it was like a, a back and forth, and it was one of them things where, um, you know, I, he he was saying stuff, and you know, to the wrong person this time. Like you said, you might have been that eleventh dude, and 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 you weren't gonna have somebody just talking some shit, and you went back back and forth with them, and and it's back two years. Yep. We're still here, man. Yep. Yeah, man. Talk about that, well, man. You you could explain your your part, however you want to so, do it. I know there's new music too. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's coming, you know, brother. Kick a quality. hashtag kick yeah. a quality. Anyway, um, all right, we can take it back to the to the very essence of it, so uh, we can get a better understanding because the the guy quality he likes to uh spin narratives, and if you don't agree with what he 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 has to say or or his approach, then 
He's going to call you all sort of phrases and names and all. And he's, he's doing this with everybody, even right now. He's proving my point now <laughs> of how this thing got started. He's proving right now to the world that he was the provocateur of the situation because mm -hmm. he's proving it right now. Go on his Twitter, I mean Instagram, go on my Instagram Go on Mr. CR's Instagram. Go on uh, Project Blow LA Instagram. He's on all this going crazy on everybody. Anyway, so, all right, this is how I very, started from the very beginning in, in a nutshell. I'll try to keep it brief as possible. Um, a fan of mine, they were having some sort of debate. Because this individual, I don't, I don't know who this individual is. Even to this day, I don't know as far as face is concerned. I don't even know who he is. But um, they were having a debate on Twitter. They were going back and forth about something. And the guy stated, well, why you didn't do that to Rifle Man when he checked you? <laughs> and then, but he added me. Uh-huh. So I I wasn't even on Twitter. I have a Twitter, but I wasn't using it at that moment. So I got at it. My phone buzzes. I look. I read the message, and I say, and this is this is on my um on the video that I dropped. Clap him sees because he wanted to lie about it. I also put that information out. Now I also had to recently put it on my Instagram, and I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read it so everybody knows what it is that I said. My first interaction with, with, with this situation, it says, it says, not sure what's going on here, but I don't have any problems with Brother Talib. Now, if you guys have some sort of online beef or disagreement, I'd appreciate it if I'm kept out of it. Peace and blessings. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds what? that, that, sound, that yeah, sounds that. pretty what diplomatic the, to me. What are you talking brother? about? <laughs> yeah. Now, now from there, should it should it have been stopped? Um, yeah, no, <laughs> and that was even a uh, you know nicely worded. See, it was, nah, it, it, look, it, everybody, <laughs> look. I no. told AC that last night. He laughed yeah. because he know I don't talk like that. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's my what people, I was laughing at. Right now. <laughs> my people know that I don't talk yeah. like that. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was trying you. to, <laughs> I was trying to be very, very, very nice. I, I swear to God, you I made was, the effort. I, yeah, because like I said, my reputation precedes me. Yeah, I was like, you know what. I'm not going to try to, you know, uh, be, you know, this tough, hard dude like, oh, yeah, that's right. I did. Or whatever. I act like I didn't know what the person was talking about. And this was Even just two though weeks ago, right? I did. Yeah. Like two, something like that, right? Yeah. When this message broke. Yeah, no, this was. No, this is the this original. Is the original. Oh, okay. I just put this on my Instagram okay. because it all re reignited, okay. and I just wanted to let people know this was the initial message that I posted. This is okay. how it all started. This is, this okay. is the very, very beginning, the first contact with me and this guy. Okay. Peace, peace. We're good. Listen, now I kept reiterating this, <laughs> but every time he tweeted. It got more disrespectful yeah. and more disrespectful. Okay, now, I also was letting him know that we have mutual friends, and because we have some mutual friends, I have some respect for them not to come at you crazy when you're now starting to come at me crazy. Yeah, yeah. Because, and let me say what the issue was of what the fan was talking about. I act like... I didn't have any idea. I never told anybody the story because it didn't mean much to me. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, at all. I, I wasn't the one going around saying nothing ever happened. My my closest partner, CR, when all this kicked off, he didn't even know the story. I never told him. I never told anyone. People were out there. They saw this. Somebody, yeah. No, they saw this. Yeah. They, oh, it was that. out there, and they saw what happened. Now, so what happened, to go back, because, you know, I'm – the misogynist, brute, you know, barbarian. Anyway, so what it was was this. I was uh, releasing uh, my album, my debut album on the Project Blow Decon Records, which was California. That's not my debut album. It's my debut album on Project Blow Decon Records. Okay, now, we were passing out flyers at a show. It happened to be uh, – a show he was at we never went inside we we didn't know who was performing we just had a list of places that was going on 
in Hollywood, so we went to all of them to pass out flyers. The OG now, promo ways. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. We, real underground stuff. That's hand what we hand. was doing. Yeah, yeah, hand-to-hand combat with the flyers. Yeah. So I proceeded to hand, uh, or try and hand a female a flyer, and for some reason, I don't know if she was drunk or she had some issues, she started talking about, uh, she don't want no fucking flyers and get the fuck out her face. I don't know who you think I am, this, this. So she, she started, like, cursing me out just because I tried to hand her a flyer. And I told her, like, yo, chill. It's all good. All you got to do is either walk away or say you don't want the flyer and then we good. Nah, motherfucker, you don't know who the fuck you talking to. That, 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 that. All this extra lip. So I was like, is that right? So the flyer, I tossed it at her. Period. It, Never said I didn't. Uh-huh. That is the fact of what the hell happened. Mm-hmm. I didn't cuss her out. I didn't do anything crazy outside of like, yeah, right, you keep talking. You're you cursing me out, calling me all sort of names. So I just tossed a flyer in her direction. It didn't hit her or nothing. Anyway, Talib comes from across the street because she calls Talib because I it was just weird. She called. She was like, uh, she called him across the street and he came over there. <laughs> And then, so, <laughs> he came over there, and then first, Security. he had a level of aggression till he, till he realized what sort of person he was talking to. Mm-hmm. Then, all that turned to something else, and then he ended up grabbing the girl, and then they just left. Because I told him that the energy she giving me, I'll take it out on you. <laughs> I mean, that's legit. That's a, that's I how- mean... That's a real conversation. Right I mean, there. that's just some man stuff. Like, yeah, if right, your right. lady is tripping, I ain't yeah, going to yeah. slap her, but I'll slap yeah. you. Yeah. Now, now we can take it on from there. You take, you either control your chick or me and you can handle the, the aggressive side of whatever needs to be handled. So he grabbed her, and then they left. And, and so that was the story that, origi- the, the originally that, that guy dude, was yeah, talking about, yeah, yeah, yeah. which I've never told that story to anybody because <laughs> it didn't mean nothing to me because that was nothing. You That's feel me? normal things that happen. Though. Oh, right. And Everybody, it wasn't like it wasn't nothing to brag yeah, about yeah, or yeah. like, eh, I never, and I never, and guess what? At the time, I knew who he was, but I act like I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Because I was in a different mode. <laughs> you know, I was in the mode where I was going to be like, I'm probably going to have to whoop Talib ass right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I act like I didn't even know who he was. Yeah, yeah. Cool. But I did. You know, of course I did. But so, it, but I've never told nobody that story. I could have easily been trying to brag about it. I was like, man, yeah, man, last week, man, I was going to yeah. slap the shit out of Talib. Yeah, yeah. I never told nobody. I never say he acted like anything. He, I didn't tell that to anyone. Mm-hmm. And, okay, then that was forgotten about as far as in my life. The fan brought it back up. And then, so like when I replied, I act like I still didn't know anything about that story. He kept, hey, ain't nobody did nothing to me. And uh, uh, who the fuck is Rifleman? Right? Shit, Rifleman ain't shit. And, uh, uh, I don't know who this punk is. And, uh, all this. He just kept, 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 kept. And I just kept saying, I said, bro, I don't have no issues. I said, uh, delete me from the, the, uh, the post and just stop at me and then we cool. Yeah. I just kept saying that. No, he kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going. He said he didn't know me. I produced a picture, yada, yada, yada. We was just at the show, me, him, and Mike. I was on stage with these people. I was recording for Mike and I. They had the song together performing it at his show. I was there, like, uh, but then he said I didn't know Mike and I, and I was a fan. I was like, dude, I'm sitting here with Mike and I, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, I'm sitting yeah. here with Mike and I. So he called Mike and I. They going back and forth. So now they arguing. And uh, I told Mike and I, just give me the phone. And he wouldn't give me the phone. So I think it could have been squashed. If, if we would have just talked on the phone but you know Mike didn't want to give me the phone because he know Talib has a big mouth and he yeah. knows that I'm so called aggressive so he didn't think it, it would go but look where it went anyway yeah, so yeah. it, it could have possibly been squashed but but where I took off the gloves at and where I took offense to everything is what so he was talking to Mike and I in private and then he said um I, I think I know he that, tweeted it was disrespect level he of, see, tweeted he said didn't you just get shot yeah that, that that's a, yeah and then from that moment I went all into everything. And I said, okay, since you want to say that, I said, this is the story that happened, motherfucker, yeah. about uh, uh, what this thing is talking about. Because up to that moment, I act like I didn't know what they was talking about. Because I never even told the story to anyone. And I was trying to not even be engaged in that, if you understand what I'm saying. So this one, then I start saying, so this is the story. Da, 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 da. So I started saying it. And then I started cussing the dude out. Then I, you know, I, I said, you know, yeah, I'll whoop your ass. I said that because once he said, then you just get shot, that pissed me off. 
Oh, that would piss. That's the, the, the disrespect on, level on that. Is, no, and then he said recently on, on, on Instagram, he just asked a question. Oh, geez. are you out your mind? Well, well here, here, here's the thing, man, that, I, that I'm knowing. You know, I don't know. I don't know the guy and I'm not a part of it. I'm not even, you know, going that route. But I, but I have, you know, I've listened to his music. I've checked mm-hmm. his podcast out mm-hmm. and all that stuff. And one thing that just stands out is for um, a self-admitted troll on the internet he sh- he plays victim a lot that's yeah. all you know i i just for me that's my take on it because he he said it himself like oh yeah i love when they talk to me like you know somebody tries to say something to me and think i'm not and i just start talking shit to him and i like he gets a, a kick out of that he does. so so if if that's your thing and and like you said if you're trying to uh you're trying to create the narrative there you're trying to tell the story only your way and uh but if you're uh, doing that and then when someone finally gets fed up and go that way it's like oh now you know you're a bigot or you're a homophobic or you're right. you know, violent violent right. threatening violence uh, you threatened his life yeah. no he's saying that now is so, that what oh, he said wait 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 listen <laughs> so while we're here no no right now yeah it says, this what? Is in now it says time. 22 minutes oh, 22 minutes ago yeah he just said to me Real on time. instagram he said he said, you threatened me many times. You made three dish records. You threatened me in all of them. One of them is called Kick Kwali. That's violent. <laughs> you made several memes of yourself choking me. That's violent. You're oh very stupid, God. very violent, and very hateful liar. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that's fucking. We got the, we got the up-to-date in real time. Damn, that was 22 you minutes vi- ago. I got the pro. You're right violent, here. man. You're- See? Because, <laughs> look, on Twitter, when all this started, he kept calling me, which I thought thought was funny i want to name a song this he kept calling me unhinged <laughs> that sounds I think that's good. funny yeah that's, like that could be the short film unhinged. see because he's a short dude yeah, yeah. he's a little yeah. runt like bro you oh, feel me man. so he's going back and forth with me right now as i'm sitting in this interview uh-huh. he's like kick a quality and then so i that's just replied back and i was like i said bro i said it's rap music grow up i said so battle rappers don't kill the whole world inside of the 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 verse they don't have that many guns as they say right. either. Yeah. it's just bad we i thought yeah. this is what battling does you yeah. know he well man bdp you said roxanne Chate mouth is only good for steady fuck mm-hmm. come on what is we talking about this shit been going on jay-z said to uh uh, you know what I did. You know what to you know who His, talking about you, the baby the mom, mom and shit. Like yeah, I would have yeah. beat a dude head in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. Like that. Yeah, like, what are we talking about? Yeah, and that, <laughs> and that's that's crazy. That's I didn't what, start this. That's why I'm starting to wonder, man. If maybe you know, maybe he's just in his uh, like Kanye zone or something like. I he's think so. Way out in his own world type I of shit. I think so. I actually That personally sounded funny think, what you said. It almost sounded like someone was trying to be funny. What you just read to me? That yes, sounded it. like someone was actually trying to be funny. Like that's very violent kick of quality. Oh my that's pretty funny, dog. That's great. Cra- and, and he he's he's mad because guess what? I created a hashtag. Mm-hmm. It's kick of quality. And people are actually using it. People are sending me skateboard memes where it's like oh, oh that was a nice trick what is that he said is that an ollie he says no i just <laughs> created I, I just created the new move kick with quality <laughs> i'm like whoa it's, it's, it's going viral I'm as we speak. you this yeah. is, but i mean this is all part of you know it's strategy on, on my end you know like he's trying to make it something that is not it's, mm-hmm. it's bro i thought we are hip hoppers mm-hmm. so we should be able to say just like they do in the battle world they kill eighty six thousand people and then they shake hands and then they walk away whoever won won it's not like i said that i'm you know go go take your father out and kidnap the baby i'm gonna do it once i leave here that was inside the rap Mm-hmm. It's just rap, you mm-hmm. know, and like we were talking earlier, I'm more uh, a, a street aggressive sort of MC. So, yeah, I'm going to say all that sort of stuff because that's the sort of MC I am. So if if I'm going back and forth with you, what should I be uh, referencing? Flowers and lilies yeah. and, you know, uh, diamonds and stuff like, no, that's that doesn't fit the context of, of, of what we're doing right here. So, yeah, yeah I said, <laughs> kick a quality. 
or like you know you s- it's not gonna be like a uh, you know, you smell good like flowers, yeah. but you dissed me. And you yeah, said, yeah. You know, yeah. I'm supposed to be nice. I'm supposed yeah. to be like a Sour Patch Kid. Say something disrespectful and then give him a hug. Yeah. Like, nah, yeah. I'm going to say all the craziest stuff. You know, to me, I always look at it like, um, you know, say like when I did the song um, Rifleman. Uh, I'm a mad, mad man for the bad, bad clan. When I got in the strap of my hand, gonna no pop when I pop in the chunk, lean bloody chunks of a sad, sad man. But that for the cast fast, might blast on your ass fast. Go for your gun, money, money, one. When I said no, I got the last laugh. Click and I pop with a hit, with a hot won't stop till I see their bodies drop. Yeah, I'm going crazy. I probably in that verse killed a thousand people. But that- guess what? I looked at it like when I wrote it, I was visualizing like uh, you know those old brawls. At the uh the the OK Corral like the when they be drunk yeah. and then it just be a big brawl and somebody hit somebody in the head uh with a bottle or, and then the chairs is cracking and it's melee and <laughs> that's how I was visualizing it you know it's it's entertainment to me in, in a point where it's like it's like a Rambo movie I think it's like a, a, a obviously a fan favorite at your shows too You're crazy like when you rock that, that shit is at the, the show. craziest <laughs> yeah. I start every show yeah, up with that yeah, yeah. because people love they, that. they're not gonna let you probably perform without that one yeah maybe. they they love that song yeah. because it's so intense though but that is the point of it yeah. why can't we as artists artists portray the same thing that like a steven spielberg or whoever like when arnold schwarzenegger <laughs> kill a billion people he gets to go home to a mansion and, and chill if i do that in the song that i'm violent i'm on hands i'm crazy oh get this guy off the off the air off the You're microphone a mean guy yeah like man come on it's just uh an artistic view and i think as hip-hop artists we should all be able to have our own lanes about what we do so all right say if we were all positive conscious rappers 24 7 man hip-hop would be weak to me yeah well that goes back to you know the whole essence of hip-hop anyways it was built on the competitive styling yeah. and that and then the flipping is going back to you know good life project blowed but the 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 diverse styles bro yes. like like you said even though that was your 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 style you know coming from the street and and putting that into your sound but just because someone else was might have been talking about peace and right. flowers that don't make it wrong and they still have right. the energy it's just different no they that's their thing and that's so, that's some people's strong point yeah and i think the diversity mm-hmm. of it is what makes it special yeah now if, if you want to make everybody the same thing then the the level of specialty goes down because now it's like when you look at those movies and you see those uh, where the whole block, all the houses are the same. Then all the guys come out the house. They all in the same suit. Then they jump in the, in the same sort of car and drive away. Who wants the world to be like that? Nah. That's that's a whack ass world to yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. And I and don't want that. I want everyone. Everyone. That's why do you think they call it individual? And I think that's uh you know what stands out about hip hop as a music genre too is you know other other genres have it. Don't get me wrong, but I think the the well, like the, it's a big array of, of diversity. You can be hip-hop. anything. Yeah, any, you could be a cowboy, a drug dealer, a fucking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've seen everybody rapping yeah. cowboys. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, anything that you want to be, and you can do that as and, and do it in hip hop. It's acceptable because it's come as you are. Yeah. People like to um, they like to try to mold you until they what they want you to be. And and me, I try to get out of that realm. I either like it as it is or i don't and and that's it i'm not gonna try to well you know you should be doing this and you shouldn't be doing that no your thing either fits with me or it doesn't it resonates with me or it doesn't and every everything should be like that don't try to change me into some sort of rapper or mc that you want me to be you either like the things that i do or you don't and if not Drake is still available. Yeah, you can go. Oh, yeah, <laughs> go do. Go look. Yeah, what's the what's the, what's the <laughs> issue? Do whatever. It's gonna yeah, happen. go do that, and that's fine. I don't have any problem yeah. with what's that. What's interesting that you say about that? How it's uh, like hip hop is so universal and individual, and everybody has their own taste. But the like the the fan base of hip hop is, is so diverse. Yeah, and, and that's one of the things I noticed that uh, Quali really contradicts himself on is that you know he was trying to call you racist, but anybody that was commenting back that say it was like a, a girl that was white a white girl right he basically called her a karen and said your opinion doesn't matter at all because 
you're white and you're basically you no, sexist and racist. That's the same, the same thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, that's the same thing he said yeah. to the guy of which uh, Rabbit was basically talking about at the show. Right. Yeah. That's basically oh, that that show. If we didn't say it on air, but yeah, the one where he, somebody just said, <laughs> "Oh, there it is." <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay, I, I, I don't even need to go into the whole thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So all the things, this is what I find out about this guy. And see, you know where he f***ed up with this is? This. You can't say it's his assistant. You can't say that's a bot. You know, some people are saying all sort of stuff. That's his stupid ass on stage. Mm -hmm. He's saying what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Period, point blank. There's no two ways to go about that. So the point is, he says thing, things about people that is actually true about himself. Because like I, and this is this song right here, it intros the song that I have called Hypocrisy. Because he's a hip, the biggest hypocrite that I've ever seen. He was calling me all those sort of names, but then guess what? I found the records, court cases, um rolling stone magazine uh articles about all the stuff that he was calling me he has documented cases so why okay. would you be calling people things that you know you have a mountain of allegations about already yeah, yeah. i mean real allegations <laughs> not you know some girl you know when i was 15 and said that i grabbed her butt at school I'm, I'm not talking about no shit like that i'm talking about where people went and filed cases and charges yeah you feel me like this shit's serious so i'm like i don't know if the dude's mental yeah uh, you know and then who knows if that's a whole uh another thing in itself for some more pub i don't know man i hey. think he's trying to use this uh to 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 regain uh, uh underground credibility and also to to div divert people from these cases and allegations because he has more Damn. you know uh i was talking to one of the uh the people not gonna say her name but um she's the one that was going back and forth that end up getting his twitter kicked off and she was basically telling me that you know she didn't want to because uh, I wanted her to do one of them kick a quality because I had uh, everybody just saying kick a quality. I yeah, wanted yeah. her to do one and I just throwing them in the video. But she was like, she didn't want to have nothing to do with it because she's been getting death threats. Her and her family's been getting really, uh, um, really negative attention yeah. and, and violent, real violent things. So these are from either Talib or his fans. Like, you're getting death threats because you, you had some you know uh disagreements with this guy and he's supposed to be some solely uh social con conscious activist rappers like yeah, that don't yeah. even make no sense <laughs> kind of crazy but it is she yeah. said flat out yeah i know I, I, I don't i don't want to be involved i've been getting a lot of death threats and uh people are coming at my family in really negative ways and i was like oh that's that's i said that's cool and i said if she need any help with, with anything holla at me and my homies <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's hey, for real that's a quote you know that's the whole thing man is like sometimes uh people like to dish out but not when they hear it back and shit so hey i wanted to ask you um on this whole thing man uh you know how how would you have hoped originally that um the best way it could have got resolved man it just you know i mean obviously it's here now we're going to talk about some of these new songs out <laughs> killing them but um um how would you originally wish they would have just listened to your first very polite tweet and just yes and just <laughs> i didn't i didn't put it out there for um for fanfare or or you know to be taken lightly yeah i i meant what i said yeah. And he should have took heed to me, you know, when they say uh, extending the olive branch or or extending a hand in peace and then somebody slap your hand. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm actually I actually was like, it's cool, bro. Yeah. And then he was like, he says he's been saying. And then you begged me <laughs> to talk to you and <laughs> I refused. <laughs> you little bitch number one i didn't beg anybody anything see that that should let you know right there if because after this that impression I, was pretty good by the way man, I, <laughs> <laughs> 
He did though. Look, yeah. he he said I begged him. Like yeah. I said, I said I didn't beg anything. I asked you, and I I hit him up privately on the Twitter uh, inbox, and then um, on the Instagram DM. I left him messages to say, bro, um, just holler back at me, and you know we can get past whatever is going on before it got to any before I ever dropped one track. And he says, you wanted to talk to me, and I refused. So who's Whose fault is that? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean you refuse? So you refuse peace, and then now when the war is in, we're, now we're here now. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. now you like, oh man, my building didn't 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 got blown up. Man, can we just stop now? Like, yeah. bro, you said you refused. And then he got the peace route. He got a couple other artists mad besides you, so it's on. Man. Oh hey, my God! Hey, let's talk about it though, man. There's a, a couple out there already. Let them know. I know you just dropped yours, man. You okay. Sent, thanks for sending me the link. By the let's way, let's just we go go in order. Oh yeah, let's do clap that. MCs. <laughs> okay. First, that was the first. I called that the jab. It was clap MCs. That's the jab, and that's bait. We spoke about that last time because. Yes. We about this. I think off air is that's the way it usually works. All right, it's the ring entrance. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> you really want this. Boom. It was just a jab. Yeah, I just threw out a jab, but it was bait. I tried to reel him into the situation. Okay, he started talking about it on, on Twitter, but he wouldn't rap. And then all the fans start sending me all sort of stuff. So I, I, I made another one and I put all the comments. You know, people were going crazy. So the second one was called hypocrisy. And it was a like a personal dismantling of his person, that personal one was, life. Uh, you just dropped about uh, how long ago was that? Did that one drop? The hypocrisy? hypocrisy, yeah. Same. This okay. is about two years. Oh, okay. You dropped that one right away. Yeah, okay. but I dropped I that, that one like like one. a month or so after the first one. Okay. A month or two, I I just I just hit them. So the first one was the jab. The, the second one was the the personal life dismantling. And then now since it's reignited, then. I dropped Kick a Kwali, which is the lyrical destruction of this guy. But before I dropped mine, Two Mix dropped his, was the uh the Talib Cosby joint. Yeah. So so it's clap MCs, hypocrisy, Talib Cosby, Kick a Kwali, and then soon to be released is overkill. But then uh, Micah has one. I, I don't know if he, if he titled it yet. He has he has a solo joint, and then we also have one called um, "Writing Rhymes," and me and Micah Nine uh, writing rhymes with Micah Nine. To whom it may concern, we 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 looped him once again, saying these words, Micah Nine. To whom it may concern, we looped him in the hook. You know, because that's that's also been part of my strategy since the very beginning. I use his words against him. Yeah. You yeah. know, as the songs. That's been my hooks, and in, in all the songs, it's been his voice. <laughs> that, that's another another annoyance that you know. I'm just sticking it to him. Like it, this is all strategy to me. Yeah. You feel me? So, and um, you know, we got a couple of more things. But the thing is this: we just shot the video to Overkill last night, which is going to be insane the whole song i saw some of the footage like, oh my from, god you know just together the, the song on and the, oh this is gonna be so crazy you feel me so um yeah that's that what's been going night, on when you guys were filming that foot uh was that last night yeah you guys were doing shout out to yeah. you know some yeah. of the homies Stand too man never two, collected the homie manlo was yep. out there i seen the yep. pictures yep. two mechs two mechs yeah. two mechs and uh you know microphone my mic yeah. man it's all shout love, out man. two mechs shout out yeah. alex now you were saying something early when we was offline about um the, the, I think maybe the intro to the Kick a Quali video, you was said you wanted to ask something oh, about. Oh, well, well I, I was just saying because I wanted to go in. See, see, we didn't want to make it all about this, obviously, but this is what, you know. This is what's people, going on right now. This I, is a hot topic. We, yeah. yeah, and the thing is, <laughs> and if we didn't, people will go, do these guys oh, even sorry. listen to hip-hop? Yeah. Do these guys even yeah, listen yeah, to yeah. hip-hop? Your current affairs yeah, aren't so current. Yeah, yeah. What are you talking <laughs> Okay, but, but um, man, bro, you've also uh, – there's a couple other things I want to talk about as well, but you know, you you've taken yourself to uh, uh, film school and everything, man. So this ain't just something like uh, that you take lightly. Like you're you're really into the behind the scenes, the the production, the video work, and everything. And um, you put in some work on this joint, though. You put in the editing, um, and I saw the credits at the end. Is that a new um, brand for the as far as filming? No, was, I had that since, under something else. No, I had that since the beginning. Oh, okay. I thought I it was, just um, 
I mean, Risa, well, you know, my last, I don't know, a few videos, I, I've been using that little gun where it says Rifleman. Yeah, man. Rifle shot man, me shot films, me films, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so, you know, I, I, I put the uh, the boys in the hood. Um, want to see a dead the body? The boys, yeah, want to see a dead body, you know, and then I, I just put his face on there. Yeah. But <laughs> it was, I mean, to me it's this. The, the, it's all uh, strategy, you yeah. know? Like, um, so, like, me, me and... and and and, the, and one of our elders and going back and forth about this, but the thing is, is I'm letting him know is this. This is all, all my strategy since the beginning, and you have to strike really quickly, and it doesn't take uh, Quincy Jones and, and Russell Simmons and uh, Hype Williams to get things done. We are underground, mm -hmm. and even the people who are on the underground who had deals. I am more underground and more independent than all of them. So I have to do things myself and I have to get things done. And I also like the rugged, raw, gritty edge. That's me as an overall artist. I like that approach. That's been working for me, my career. So, you know, everybody, you know, I tell them it's, it's more ways to skin a cat than one. You know, it's not just your way. It's not just my way. There's uh, various ways you can go about approaching a lot of different things. Is that is that part of the reason you put yourself through film school is because, you know, you do a lot. Because I know you, you do a lot of independent things and even the clothing line, which we'll shout out in a second. Well, it's actually uh, a degree in sound engineering, which is at L.A. Film, oh, okay. L.A. Recording School. I, my degree is in sound engineering. The, the film stuff, I taught myself. Okay. You feel me? I just, this is like I did mostly everything else. Even with, with the engineering thing, I was already doing this stuff. But my whole thing is this. When you're a real indie artist, and I'm talking about real, you have to do a multitude of things yourself. Because people don't flow on your time. Hey man, I need you to do this, but I need it by woo woo. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta take my grandma. That's tonight. how it is here. Wanna, <laughs> it, I, right, right or wrong, you gotta Doing do what show. you gotta do. Right or yeah. wrong, self, yeah. self efficient, self sufficient, self reliant. We're here, we're here every week. We can't wait on people sometimes. All right, you know what I'm saying, and that's my whole career though, yeah. and it's been like that. And everybody don't understand that because you know some people are spoiled with oh well, we have the '86 track board. <laughs> <laughs> and Hype Williams is my cousin and all this shit. Uh -huh. Man, fuck all that. Yeah, but when's it's it coming out? Whistles. That well, when yeah, is coming yeah, out? Let's drop yeah. We shit. gonna have to wait and then the damn fire gonna be, yeah. if it's gonna be out and everybody ain't even gonna be interested no more. Because watch this. You know what? Well, another thing I was telling the, the the older homie. I said, look, Talib, he, he had that 86 track board. What did he come out with? Don't nobody care about that damn song. And he had Diamond D. Nobody cares. See, that's the point. If I could even meet that halfway. All right, so he was at, uh, he was on the big old board that's big as a room, and then he got Diamond D, and nobody thinks the track is fire. <laughs> so if I can meet halfway there, just even doing what I'm doing, right? And then people was like hitting me up. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, that was dope. I already won. Mm -hmm. Duh. Yeah. Don't know. I ain't seen one person to say, Hey man, that track he got y'all. He burned y'all. Uh, not one. Not uh, not even his fans. They're more concerned with with his banter, right. not the song. Mm -hmm. People are man. My Starting inbox right now. Uh, it's well, so many messages. I cannot read them all. Where people are going crazy. That's one of the things. Then where you kind of uh, and then you're 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 straying away from the art which you originally got the people excited about in the first place is now they're more concerned just to hear you talking shit that's it to listen and that's, that's it you know that, you not know. the music yeah but that's you know to, if that's i mean i don't know maybe that's what he's going for i'm not sure maybe hey, hey I, I, I wanted to ask you too man like for, first let me say this too um we're glad you're still here my brother because yes, we sir. remember when that happened we were already homies you've been by the show and stuff before and and uh you know it it, it was uh uh, looking a little bad for a little while, yeah. man. And, uh, uh, but you're still here. And I, I wanted to talk about that, man. The the inspiration um, 
or the determination maybe it, what, what was it that um kept you so determined um to get back right because especially what's crazy is you kind of almost had to teach yourself to speak again and all these things and for someone that spits the way you do rapid style you know delivery wise um breath control all these mm -hmm. things that had to play real heavy in the in the uh what is that called the uh comeback you know what i'm saying in the Man. rehab the rehab that's what i was no, thinking it of. definitely was and it was um you know the funniest thing these are the two things that i was most concerned with mm -hmm. when it initially happened one i was on 163 days of continuous exercise and i was like damn i won't be able to exercise no more and i thought that i was just gonna fall off because you know i was so much going on with my body i was like oh this is gonna be bad so that i was determined to immediately start back exercising. which you did do that no, pretty damn quick how fast I, I mean you just got home <laughs> I, uh, I remember man <laughs> you can see on my video where uh cheated death i got all this shit hooked up to my body the the the, the blood drip thing and all that shit. give me one of them too uh the blood drip thing and then you can see me hit my speed bag i just try i was like boom 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 and then i said it was an assessment and i was like oh i can still i can still let's, hit it of course i didn't have the speed in it but i could still hit it so i was like boom boom because i i got shot up under here too so it affects this arm you feel me so i was like doom, doom. i was like Okay, I said, as long as I could do that, I said, okay, okay, I'll get back to you in, in a week. And I did. I, I let a week, you know, I stayed in the bed for a week. They told me two weeks, three, I said, I said a week. Because, you know, I, I'm one of these energies. I got to get up. So I, I, I was going to say, I, I don't think you you stayed in bed as long as they told no, you. No, they, they, they told me two to three weeks. I stayed in bed for a week, uh -huh. and I got the fuck up. Now, the, the mouth part, okay. And that's part of, and you know what? Shout out to the rifleman still here, man. Oh, yeah. in the building, man. No, but speak on that part of the, one of the shots was like. Yeah, it was, what well, the thing is, um, the next shot. Yeah. And this is what I didn't know. Uh, the nerves that control your face are all in the back of your neck. Okay. So, just, everybody realize, somebody can hit you in the back of the neck and your whole face will freeze. You dig? So I'm like, who made that? I remember in elementary school. <laughs> like, God, <laughs> like, we need a shield back there. <laughs> you feel me? So, <laughs> we need bulletproof you uh, feel uh, me? neck pillow. Yeah, I need a, a neck shield. Yeah. And so I didn't know that. And so it severed nerves. And then, so all on this side of my face, it froze. You feel me? So they call it Bell's palsy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like, that, yeah. Like, uh, Conway, Conway got yeah, that. Right. Yeah. And, and mine was almost close severe, to yeah. his. Yeah. But what happened was this. I went to therapy, and then, of course, immediately I had a surgery after, and I went to therapy now. and But they only going to give you therapy as a regular, average human being, right? They don't know rifleman high speed, fast delivery. They don't know nothing about that. All they're going to do is just be like. They're going off it, of average. A, yeah, the yeah. average of the human. Yeah. A, E, I, O, U, yeah, all yeah. this. Okay. Now, what I did from the hospital. The verse that I just kicked earlier. That's why I trained. I said, now, if I could say that, I'm going to be fine. I, I would say that. I mean, you know, for a normal, that's not a good starting point for a normal person. Because that, <laughs> that's multi-syllabic and, it, and it's fast and it's and it's oh, a get, lot of breath no, control. Most can't do that now without yeah. anything. <laughs> without those right. issues. Yeah, they, so. they should make people do that when they get pulled over. You spit this verse <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and you can go. That would be fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but, uh, no, but that's, that's how you train that's yourself. That's how I train myself back as an MC. Mm -hmm. I that was the verse i kept doing that one i was like if i can get that one accomplished i said i will be fine and within 30 days it was coming back but i still had a uh, high speech slurs and things because because i recorded the whole album and when i listened back to speech therapy that the, oh, yeah. the, the album mm -hmm. i could hear things i'll be like oh that went ooh, that yeah yeah I, I could hear you on that one but, but since then but you've even song, fixed some of that like you know i've 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 it's almost like i've got way better yeah, like yeah. if you hear the song overkill yeah. which you're gonna hear like really soon it's coming that was the that's i'm back to my high level okay and and people don't understand like this that shit is difficult to do 
regular. Mm -hmm. And I still have a very light case of male Bell's palsy. Mm -hmm. So it didn't 100% go away. It's not like disappeared. It's still slightly there. So guess what? I still, you know, have like a, a, a certain stiffness or whatever. And I still can, can wrap circles around people. So, you know, I I feel that, number one, it's a blessing that I'm here, that I'm able to do the things that I love to do. And this is another reason that I'm taking this thing serious because this is hip-hop. And I love hip-hop. And I love to, to, to be in competition and all that. This is also uh, helping helping my training like you know it's like getting back in the ring okay yeah. now it's a fight let's let's see let's see what i got for this yeah. one you know what i mean the so competitive but people side. not looking at it like that they thinking it's more than like no i'm i'm back you know it's like when you see those movies and the boxers he had these crazy car crashes or something and then he's like i could never box again and then he trains and get better and then now he back in the ring so he got a test to be well what do i still got it like that so that's i'm using utilizing this for that as well you know like, and like, then another thing in december uh, i'm sorry in march march 24th my brother died which Peter. is my brother dj true from hip-hop clan mm -hmm. so he the one taught me all this hip-hop stuff so everything i do is dedicated to him too i'm on talib neck for my brother yeah, yeah guarantee because right. he he used to love black star so when the stuff kicked up he was like he was like damn you a talib going out yeah. like yeah he was like yeah get that food it's like yep i'll go get him and now since bro gone i'm like everything i'm going high intensity you know and i'm also look last night at the video i would say i ain't gonna say the name but if i say obama just say the obama project blow came through and he was like cool he said i see what you're doing keep keep doing what you're doing you, you got your neck on them and, and and you bring it you bring in the light back to us right now mm -hmm. feel me and this obama of the blow so i was like that's what's up i got a stamp whether people want to say anything publicly or not i'm getting stamps from from people you know behind the scenes all day you know what i mean and so th this is like like we were saying the competition and the sport yeah, of it man and it's, it's like sport to me you got your back uh back, self back in the in the ring again you trained you're back in the ring and now there and now there's a sparring partner there you and go then, you know here it goes man yeah so there you go this is hip-hop and then man. it brought mike and i know with this fire uh, damn, Ooh, the, Ooh, it's man. all love but not this yeah, time yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> watch the wrong one I, I, watch I when y'all hear the the verses on on the on Mike is going crazy. Well, he he's one of them dudes. Besides besides his skill level, <laughs> his skill level being you know way out of this 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 frame. But this you world, know, this this fool is is ridiculous with it with the everything the way he spits. Because you you have to kind of go back sometimes and realize what he just said. Like I, I remember we interviewed him one time here and he was speaking to us in rhymes to answer. And I didn't catch it at first. And I didn't catch it at first and then I'm like, dude, this motherfucker and, and it was just crazy. But Mike is another one of them dudes that, you know, he he's cool. He's a he's a cool guy, positive energy, but uh, probably shouldn't have pissed him off, you know what I mean? And and uh, <laughs> and now somebody's gonna find out. out, you know. So, but you guys are, yeah, do it, doing your thing, man. And in the name of hip hop, man, this uh -huh. is the thing, man, right here. Hey, um, I, I wanted to, we we got a, uh, uh, you know, a fan of yours. This this is a homie, um, we've known for a while, like since we were youngsters yeah, and shit. He's a big time fan of everything the bloat has done and everything, man. And he he had a couple questions. He was he was gonna try to make it through today. Matter of fact, I think you even um, you performed at his cousin's memorial. Oh, you know who I'm talking Ma about, Mikey. Mike, yeah, Michael. Rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. yeah rest, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Homie. Yeah, yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah. He's a good friend. No, no. Nah, see now, okay. <laughs> let's let's touch on that for a yeah, very talk about very quick second. It. Yeah. You know, um, uh, okay. And and in, in Talib's words, I'm a failed rapper. Uh -huh. He keep you know that's that's his catchphrase for me. All right, cool. I understand. Now, oh, I've also done some things that your biggest, grandest rappers have, have not ever done as a rapper. Mm -hmm. How many times have you, Talib, Snoop Dogg, Jay-Z, Most Def, whomever, 
been called to perform at a funeral. Mm -hmm. Huh. The impact of you impacted someone's life to the effect of where their family is they going knew, to. Yeah, they knew they needed to. No, because I, I, I know this I firsthand. was, listen, I Those was scared homies. as hell, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, I was scared. I was like, right here. I was like, at a damn funeral? Yeah. What the fuck I'm going to say? <laughs> Which material am I going to use yeah. for this? <laughs> yeah. I had to go through the Rolodex. I was like, yeah. no, no. I was like, no, I can't say that when I say this. Oh, uh -huh. so, so I was like, okay, I got it, I got it. So I went there. And, you know, and like high level Mexican family. Yeah. So it's like uh it's like a lot of um you know, the Catholicism at, at the church, you know, yeah. they got the Catholic and then it's this it's all that like those white robes and shit and it's like, oh I was like, What the fuck? Yeah. I said, Oh no. I said this no 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 we I said I don't even I'm just looking around and I'm like, I don't even know where where this would be. Assessing yeah. assessing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, nah, this this ain't right. But what happened was it wasn't at the church. It was at the burial while they putting him in the ground. Damn, that's. I was like, wow, yeah. business. So, so like the little the Spanish band came out and the the, the guitar and then the dude like building these these notes, oh, it looks yeah, yeah. like all oh, beautiful. I was like, okay. Then I was like, okay, there there we go. We got we got you got you. Okay. <laughs> and then so I was like, oh oh, so the music kicks in. So I said, oh, I see what's going right. on. So. As soon as, because I knew what was about to happen once I saw the dude start, you know, singing, and he was hitting these notes with this deep, deep baritone. It was, it was really fly, and I was like, damn. And they had the acoustic guitar. So, you know, it was like, okay, I see what's going on. So they did that, and I was like, yeah, that's dope. So it, it even inspired me. I said, I know what's going on now. So, <laughs> boom, as soon as he stopped, they looked at me, <laughs> and I was like, okay, boom. And I just boom, 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 spit something real positive. And then, you know, it was like, rest in peace, Mikey. Boom, that's it. And then, you know, they clapped and and, and, and look, he, he's going in the ground like this, bro. I was like, that's it. That's that shit's insane. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, that was intense for me. And like, we really like no. we that's a family. I think we talked about it before. But what's crazy about that story is that like that's a family we really know. So I, I, I already I, I got the scoop. And I was like, damn, that's crazy. Rifle man went down and showed up. That's love and respect right there. And but his cousin is like, but you know, but you know. for the, the fact that his family knew he uh, was such a hip hop yeah, head yeah. and you were his favorite artist. They, they said, fuck yeah, it. Got, we'll try. They I said, got we'll his try. picture uh -huh. and his shirt inside the studio. Okay. So he's where he always wanted to be. And, and That's they didn't know if it would even me? work. They reached out and, and it no, did. immediately, but yeah. I was scared though. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I'm not, that's, and I, I don't I don't fear easily. <laughs> yeah. No, real that's talk. real. That's real. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? But that it, it, it scared the hell out of me because I was like, I've never heard that in my yeah, life. They were hip hop like heads hard because even his cousin too. He, he sees the post that we put when we do B side, and we had a Mr. Cr came through a couple weeks ago. He came from one of the shows, and he saw him in the picture. He's like, "Oh shit, Mr. Cr! Damn, yeah. I thought that was him." And he was like, "Yeah, yeah no, nah, they, they 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 tapped in, man. The whole family, you know. I, I I talk to a few of them people still, so you know. Uh, rest in peace to Mikey, man. Yeah. He's a good dude, cool, cool, kind hearted. And uh, I remember it when he was living. They called me for a bachelor party, and I did the bachelor party. <laughs> so look, I yeah. say I say wedding and funeral. Look. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's, no, that's a fan. That's the fucking uh, and those are some hip hop heads, man. They yeah, and they that good shit. people, man. You know, because we went to the, to the repast, man. It's a gang of them. They had great food, great conversation. <laughs> they were all all nice people, and yeah. you know, the, the family is different levels. Like they they got a dope family. I, you know, I'm recalling all the stuff that happened since y'all yeah. brought that up. And they, they dope, you know, so shout out to the family, too. You know, you they, probably they, might have seen a couple of the Lolos out, huh? The old, the, yeah. the, did they have the bombs out, the yep. cars? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was dope, man. Yeah. They, they got a, a, a beautiful family, man. Yeah. And they all, you know, cool, nice people, respectable. Hey, um, he, he wanted to know if, you know, um, if there would ever be another Hip Hop Clan album in any form. Uh, most definitely. Okay. Rest in peace with my brother, Doc. Yeah. Um, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Me and Dacto, yeah. we've been working on some stuff, and I even got some of the ex hip hop clan members okay. to jump on some stuff. You know, a lot of people don't know or remember, but Reckless from CV is the original hip hop clan member. He was with us last night. You know, Reckless was like my brother, though. So it don't matter what what group he's from or nothing. You know, his 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 background, his foundation is hip hop clan. So he he jumped on some tracks. Uh, I got my boy uh, Scar, 
You know, he was he was scar face in the eighties too, but now he's just scar. Um I was trying to find, you know, a couple of other other my partners, uh Capital A K. I'll, I'll probably bring him up because you know, me and him had a squad at the good life before, so it was <laughs> You know what I mean? The good it, old days. Yeah, it, it got a little hectic, but you yeah. know, in, in the name of my brother, that 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 love all of them, you know, we we gonna do some stuff. So uh, be on the lookout for uh, Hip Hop Clan Forever. Uh, uh, that's one project. True Thousand. That's another project. And I'm gonna try and put together uh, Hip Hop uh, Clandestine Two, which is like the classic, some of the older stuff that never got released. Because I found all my brother's music too. He had all sort of tapes. So I'd be like, "You had this song. You still got this. You still got that." So I found some stuff. So yeah, it will be a, a hip hop clan. Some hip hop clan projects coming. Here's another uh, like, you know, on that note, like this. I'm telling you, he knows. Like they know you, all you guys. Like you, you guys know you were at the the thing. But um, he wanted to know also if there would be an, an afterlife album, but with with uh you you know the hip-hop clan and speaking of cve he mentioned mr cr bus driver like some of you guys as featured artists on that um like an afterlife project that's what he was asking about um well that i don't really know because nothing like that has been spoken of okay but it just because it hasn't he's been, putting it in the universe all right well there you go <laughs> just like i was just saying just because it hasn't been spoken yeah. of that don't mean that you know it can't be worked out now but i can say this if if anything like that would possibly go down i would probably be the one to have to usher it in because i'm one of you know the the last flow he can that still active at, at what we're doing not to say the homies not active and not rapping but they're not uh in the forefront as they used to be you know me cr well look let, let me say this too project blow it's a big big fashion of people big 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 but guess what everybody's their own island we all have our own individual yeah. everything politics uh sexual preferences uh personal orientations everything we're all different we're, we're just a movement so you can't box us in in anything now i say that to say this all right say if somebody is the president we have an obama you know the face of it okay me and my squad we are like the tactical secretary of defense no okay <laughs> yeah, no listen the navy the bullies, seal the bullies the navy seal okay the, but the the secret militia, you know, the, the the private ones that they call in when when things get really dirty and they don't want people to know that we had to send them in to do do all the heavy lifting and, and really demolish some stuff. That's us, and I'm the general of, of that 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 army. Seals. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe so seals. we are that. So all right, you're gonna have all the politicians. I think CR's in there. No, de CR yeah, is CR is, is, is second hand in command, man. What up, like, CR? Is, is CR is like he he the he the uh you know he the one that's gonna come in with the tanks and stuff. So my man, most my man still out that he got the penitentiary workout. You can see always, his, I ain't always since CR. he got out he been yeah, on his man. like that because he yeah. wanted to keep it. Yeah. yeah, but you know I'm just saying we are those ones. So you might see all the people out in front of the microphones talking all the politics stuff. We are the people that you might not see, but the, the moment you see us, it's too late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now, now keep that problem. in mind. <laughs> yeah. We are not all the same, but we are not all the politicians. Some of us are actually, you know, uh, the armed forces of the situation. And I am definitely one of the armed forces of the situation. And we our thing is called the Hard Project Blow hardcore street hop division so nobody get that misconstrued hardcore street hop division that's right and that's me cr j smooth quasars in the hardcore what up, street Quasar? hop division Quasar. you know it's SGV a, lot, it's right a there. lot of us in in the hardcore street hop division but it's the ones you know uh the ones that you 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 know that the voices aren't as big and magnified you know the unheard the unseen that's that's the basis of the hardcore street hop division you know mm -hmm. so we all got together as a collective and who is uh running the fight of this particular situation 
the armed forces. The politicians aren't in it. That's not they think so. Talib tried to throw the throw the politicians inside there. No, they're gonna be political. We are the it's the army and the navy is already involved now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, now, yeah. Now the uh, the diplomacy went out. We, he that tried. He when tried. I tried, hey, we should have a day. And <laughs> Jack Bauer. Yeah, you know, you know, if you don't, we just have a day. Like it'll be, it'll be a a, a fucking a day where where he just you just speak all like you did on that first tweet. Cause no one's not, no one's used to it, my brother. So, so imagine it like a LA cool day, and the whole day he just got to say, "Hey, how are you guys this evening?" Yes, yes brother. Yes, yes, I have no problem with yeah. brother Tyler. Yeah, have a ple- have a pleasant evening. All right, but no, that would be one hilarious. love. No, but you you are the one who you know you mentioned though. Uh, um, you wear a few hats when it comes to it because you are still actively making music. Uh, you know, you got your studio at the crib um you know the clothing line uh yep. let let the people know about that as well but uh we yeah, want to make my sure whole they know. brand is this and um okay say like um some guy one of these ty libras came at me <laughs> and was like uh well you own it yes good that's a good term huh ty yeah, libras. i just thought that might be i might go that might be the name <laughs> hashtag ty libras yeah so one of these ty libras got at me and it was like um well he barely he barely even almost has 10,000 followers. And I was like, I said, number one, I'm not one of these number checkers, counters. And I, my Instagram is not my name as a rapper. Mm-hmm. I did that purposely because mm-hmm. I wanted my brand. I started it from scratch. So it organically grew up to whatever it is now. And it's Cali Classics Music and Apparel. You're going to get some music on there. You're going to get some apparel on there. It's not a Rifleman page. It's not an L.A. Cool page. It's not a Hip Hop Clan page. It's not a Good Life Bully page. I could have easily did Rifleman L.A. Cool. Easily. It got all sorted. That that wasn't the point of it. See, people, they don't understand these things. Sometimes you have to reconstruct and start from the ground where you're trying to do something else. I could have easily just tried to drag all my fans into, yeah, just, you know, this is my stuff and just look at me. No, I wanted to start a brand from scratch. So I started from zero. That's a business. My, my a brother business got a business. Mind. I've seen you, man, uh, man, set people buying merch up at shows. Yep. And that's, see, that's a twist. For years. I, I just wanted to, I wanted to add that. That's what I was going to say is that. This is not something, you know, obviously merch got more and uh, more popular as branding is concerned with artists yep. in the recent days. But you've been doing, I remember going to shows way back and you had your merch booth there, yep. man. This is a business, man. And Even that's if what you weren't people, performing. Yeah, I remember yeah, you, were, yeah, yeah, you were still doing yeah. merch and, that, and this is going back years. And the other thing, just I just wanted to add to that. What you said is um, respect goes way beyond the uh, popularity of you on on social media of course um you know a lot of these people that are super into the social media don't realize that life is way bigger than that there's a lot of things going on there's respect you could still handle business you could still make millions without telling everybody every day or showing your chain when you live you know on your mom's couch that's what i always say you know what i'm saying you can still be a fan of hip-hop without posting everything you took that from me (laughs) yeah i always say and I ain't going to say what I call it because it's usually um, associated with us. I ain't going to call it on, on here what I call it. I'll tell y'all when we get off. But <laughs> I always say y'all should stop use doing this thing because it makes us look bad. You, you'll you buy a house. You'll buy the decor with the big rims, the chain, and you'll be on your mother's couch not chipping in a lick of rent. Oh, yeah. yeah. What a sucker. Yeah, but with the newest J's on. What sucker are you? The newest J's on. The newest you know everything. Yeah, and yeah. your ass got to call the homie to get picked up or oh, something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and your mama or your lady is always like, oh, well, you, you know the rent is, is doing Oh, my boy, uh, uh, I'm going to get you just, yeah. no, you prioritize, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, I buy chains and I buy all, all the stuff too, but guess what? I don't never trick myself, meaning I'm not going to spend more than what I think I can afford to look a certain way because, you know, say, say like this, sometimes I see uh, 
I see a lot of people talking about people's shades and this. Is it real? Is it big? Is it this, this, that, and the other? Me, as as the, the MC, I wear jewelry. On my day-to-day, -day, you see me walking to the store or at, at, at the damn Ralph's, and I don't wear none of that stuff because I don't care nothing about it. I got probably 50 chains, but I don't wear chains for that reason. I wear it as it, they're more staged to me. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It's not like I got so many chains, so when I go to the park or when I go to the that's beach. A, when that's I go, a hip-hop like, thing. Like, shout out crazy. to Big Daddy Kane, Slick Rick, you know. Some of the cats, that was the thing. Man. Well, I think uh, maybe originally Run DMC rocking the big chains, yeah. man. That's just part of hip hop, my yeah, brother. Cool, and I, I like the way you took it uh, uh, another level with the crown, my brother. People know you for the crown now. See? We're in the crown at that. Oh, and and let me bring this up because I, I know my brother has a couple questions too. But, um, man, I think it was the might have been the 21st anniversary for Project Bloat. Um, was it 21st? I don't remember the exact number. But I remember we went, we got to be involved, we did some footage and different things, but I remember I did my own assessment, which we're going to start putting blogs on our site and stuff too for this particular reason, but I did my own assessment of the evening, and I was like, damn, bro, like, because I went, I tried to check all the stages, even while someone was performing, I'll go real quick, but then I'll come back if someone was really killing it, I was going all around and, and, uh, you really fucking murdered that show that day, I remember that, because I was like, I think, uh, in my opinion, I don't know who I was having this conversation with, but I was like, uh, I think Rifleman uh, took it as far as performances, just the energy. The like, well, you, are you talking about when it might have been the twenty first when we had the I had the crown you had the in crown the suit? On. I don't remember if you were in the suit. I'm I know you had the crown for sure. The crown was on. I've been it was your solo show though, but okay. you had a couple people on there. But okay. you rocked your own set. Okay. Yeah, and I don't know if it was the twenty first or not. I can't remember the exact okay. one, but. Um, I just remember, and then of course, you know, Medusa. That was this before it. or after I got shot? I think it was, I think uh, it was before. right before. It, okay. was, it was, I think, okay. the year or two before. That spot that had uh, multiple rooms, there was two different Remember, rooms. there was a, yeah, you could there go to, a, they had stages going on in okay. different rooms. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I remember, you and, know, but that used to always be my, um, my, um, my goal, even at the good life, see, where people were, were trying to get themselves signed and things of that nature, my thing was, or we, we would call it, just like I said on the film, we would call it the blow-up. I used to try to get the blow-up every Thursday. Mm -hmm. I just want the blow-up, you know, which is the best performance of the night, the best verse of the night. That's all I used to, that was my goal at the time. It was like, I didn't care about, oh, I'm not trying to go get signed and all this shit. I, 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 didn't, I didn't care, like, that wasn't my thing. And People have to realize that, so like how, how Ty Libra, you know, how he'll say, fail rapper. That wasn't my goal, see? It wasn't my goal to to do like you. You probably was going knocking on uh, Def Jam's door. I wasn't. Yeah. I was trying to serve everything moving. Are <laughs> these was, cats selling their soul for their that deal, part. You know I mean? And but. guess what? All the tour and all that that I did, it came as a perk to me. Because I didn't seek that, see? There's a difference. I didn't seek that. I just did what I did, and the attention came to me. So that's a different thing. Now, back to the crown. The crown came with, with, with this. Look, I can tell you exactly. Um, well, me, and, me and CR, first the Good Life Bullies was like six people. And then it eventually just got to me and CR. Now, on our first uh, project with me and him together that we did, um, Oh, I forget the name. Uh, but we got a poster, and it says, um, uh, "Damn, I forget the name." But it it just had me and him on the poster, looking really tough, mean faces, and all you know, like it's just you know. But that's yeah, that's how we both are. Yeah. But so, see, I was promoting it somewhere, and you know, Somebody was like, uh, it was like, oh, what is this? Another 40 drinking, drive by, shooting, just uh, jumps up. And, and then I was like, damn. And then so CR, he, he contacted me and he said, man, so fool got at me and told me this, this, that, and the other. And then, so what I did was, because this poster is up in my studio, I looked right at it. And I was like, 
I said, I, I can see, I can see that. I said, I, I can, if you don't know about, you don't know anything about either of us. Yeah. I said, I can very much see that. That's the what, that. what they're looking at. Because, yeah, it looks um, threatening. Yeah. Just to see me and him standing there for man, dog faces and shit, and their hats to the side and some shit. <laughs> that's why, so I told him, I said, yeah. I said, yeah, don't get mad at that. I said, you just kind of, you, you have to, you have to, I don't listen to people, yeah. but I do listen, if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. You can't tell me what it is to do, but I, but I am listening to you. Now, but, you know, I always have a mad dog. That's just been my thing forever, like a mad dog face. So what I did was this. I said, look, all right, we need to listen to what they said. I said, I understand that because I can, I can, you know, I had to stand outside of myself and look at it. And then I said, I can see that. So what I did was this. I said, since CR is an active gangbanger, I said, I have to tone down the real me too. And so I got into more of a character mode. So I started utilizing the black royalty. Now, what that is, when I had Cali Classics, I had a spinoff thing called Black Royalty to, you know, to try to uh, show young youth more positive sort of views. You know, I would have, uh, you know, the King Tut and all this stuff on, on the apparel just to show more positive things, you feel me? So to let people know, like, you you don't just come from, you know, you're not just uh, where they be like, oh, in Africa, it's just the goddamn jungle. The motherfucker is just swinging like Tarzan. Like, yeah, you and I got buildings and, and gold and, and all the resources of the world, like, too. You know, it's, it's royalty from from down there. You know, it, Egypt is, is, is part of it. You feel me? So, it, but people don't understand these things. So, I had a thing called Black Royalty, which I would just put all these things on apparel. So, I went back to that. I said, um, well, we should do more of a, a outcast, good cop, bad cop vibe. So I'm gonna let you be the tough gangbanger. I'm gonna throw on a crown, and I, you know, switched up a little bit my um, content. You know, it wasn't as rough and as aggressive with him. I, you know, I do more more chopping. Uh, you know, just just different angles to kind of like outcast it, big boy Andre. You know, and, and, and I didn't want to be Andre. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of extreme, maybe. <laughs> I'm just wrong play. <laughs> because Andre, you wanted that blew up. After, yeah, and I, well, after that, that, that you, everybody up. hearing that verse that just dropped too, man, the one that got cut off of that uh, that album, uh, you was talking some deep, man. That was crazy, dog. But yeah, that's not a bad person to be. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, Andre's dope. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, but, but the point that I was making is yeah, that no, I, I, the crown came because I had to slightly diversify because I understand what they were looking at and then so that's where the crown came in mm-hmm. and and one of the homies told me like i'm gonna say who it is because he goofy but that's a little homie otherwise told me he was <laughs> like he said man i didn't i didn't even understand what the whole crown thing and what you was doing and da 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 and then i was like yeah i said otherwise i said because that's you're uh coming from the perspective of a coon <laughs> <laughs> I said, you don't understand. Like, I said, so a dude can do all this other stuff. You can have a jerry curl, a perm, or or be a pimp, or do whatever, and then you understand that, right? But if a dude put on the crown, then you don't understand that. Like, damn. I thought, it, and, and you know what? It worked, too, because when you were on the stage with that motherfucking that shit. No, I was, was just going to say that. Like, I remember, like, we went to a show one time to cover a show. It was years ago, and, and I seen you guys perform together. And damn, that shit was fucking hard. And I was like, like you know, like so. The, Him and CR. Yeah, you and oh, CR. Oh, I know. You guys got that. Uh, yeah, like, the, the good life bullies got that. Yeah, the uh, flow off of each other energy and all that. The show of something video. You guys have checked that one out. It's really good. It's that's when we actually figured out that whole. Uh, dynamic between me and him, yeah. just me and him with the crown, because at the last anniversary, we performed with suit song. We had actual suits on. I had a purple suit on with a gold crown. Yeah. So, and we shot a video of that night, and 
It's actually on CR page right now, getting getting uh, on the Instagram, getting really some some good views right now, because like I told the homies, like I told the Hardcore Street Hop Division, it's our turn to shine. So let's take. I told the homies, interject yourself inside the arguments and this and that, and then you gonna start getting the attention too. And they are. The views is going up. They they fan followers is going up. Everybody's telling me that Michael's hitting me up, saying, "Oh man, you, you man, you should see the inbox is going crazy." I was like, "Mine's too." This year, I was like, "Mine's too." I was like, "See, <laughs> see." So it's all working how I thought it out to work. I'm yeah. using this properly, you know. I, I'm really using this as free promotion. So yeah. your boy can keep talking and, and acting crazy because we're gonna keep dropping stuff and we're gonna keep responding. Yeah, yeah. That's Good right. But up. man, the thing is, though, you guys are still. Uh, you know, with the music, is it's plenty active, man. Make sure you guys, whoever's uh, checking this out, make sure you guys go get some of that new music for you because they steady coming with it, man. It's consistency. Uh, I know my brother's got a couple questions. Oh, yeah, actually, since we're oh, on the subject. Wait, uh, okay. Just real quick, though, I, I did want to say one thing just to add on before my brother. Um, a real good point you made is because I feel the same way about myself. Um just because I don't necessarily do what other people think I should do doesn't mean I ain't listening. I'm glad you said that, man, no, because I, I really do. I, I do listen to people, especially people that I respect or care about. I'll listen to what they have to say, but I, I'm still going to do what the fuck I think I'm gonna, oh, of course. I'm supposed to do. Of course. You know what I mean? So I, I'm glad you said that. Yeah, I, I take it in like um, <laughs> it, it, it's almost like um, because you know what they say about opinions and assholes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Now, now, now we all we all have one. All right. Now, but certain things, I always listen. Now, that don't mean I agree, but I do listen. See, that's a different thing. Yeah. But I'm hearing what you're saying. Now, if 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 I can, if I think that, that there's some uh, weight to what you said, I will indoctrinate that into how I'm moving. Yeah. Period. And, and I don't even care because I don't even know who this person is. I never got the message CR did. Yeah. So I don't know. It could have been a 12-year-old kid from Idaho. Yeah. I don't know. But guess what? I understood what they were trying to say. Now, yeah. if I looked at it from an outside perspective, I would have saw the same thing. It's basically like that. Like like that poster. And you, you look NWA at that shit, the you be like, side. what the fuck? Oh, Those yeah. motherfuckers yeah. is going to fuck something up. Oh, yeah, they, so, yeah, 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 so it was like that. So I was like, yeah, well, I don't want to be necessarily viewed as like, and WA, it, and I'm not saying like a bad thing. I'm just saying how stigmatized of oh, yeah. the gangster rap, and like, you know they want us to replace yeah, that old shit. Right so I try to, you know, I try to veer away from that because I do. Look, I always say this: I've never been no gangster rapper, but I've been a gangster that rapped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I'm also an MC. I'm a technician when it comes to to all of this shit too. So I'm not like. I'm not one of these, no disrespect, like these C murders. Motherfucker can't rap. Like, mm. you know, like you see what, what his specialty was. That's why he in jail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's no disrespect to him. Yeah. You not no MC. Yeah. yeah, some people fell into like because the, who they're around or the family yeah, is and stuff. Yeah, but, I'm sure but, Master P was like, but, hey, man, we got we got a deal, man. Like, come on, man, start yeah, rapping. Yeah, I'm a, Put we'll, the get, guns we'll get down. some writers in here. We'll get some writers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, but no, I, I hear your point, <laughs> yeah, though. Sorry to say, Silk the Shocker was sucked to me. And, me too. Know, and, and <laughs> you are them sloppy like, chopper. Oh, he is the sloppiest <laughs> choppy. <laughs> they they, uh, they had the, so right. He sucks. They had the momentum <laughs> for a while, man. Know, but no, the movement. Is, some the people, movement is dope. is brilliant. Yeah. But some people got like like are supposed to be rapping, and some people you got this. Some yeah. people supposed to be the manager. Yeah, uh, or you know, you be the the security. The, that part, the roadie. Yeah, you're you, not supposed yeah. to be rapping just because you're my brother. Yeah. yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hey, man, that's some real shit. Hey, Shay, go oh, oh, ahead. Just, uh, when we were on the subject of shows, I just wanted, like, off the top, like, I know there's probably a lot of them, but, like, one of your favorite shows that you performed, like, just just the vibe, the crowd, the, the, the sound, everything was just on point, and you just, it was just, like, a memorable show, like, live show, because I know you've done a lot, but which one that you I just, would probably say, if I could, if I just had to think really, really, really quickly, I would probably say The Last Paid Dues. Okay. And what year I was performed, that? Uh, uh, I think 2012. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I performed. It was my first and last 
<laughs> pay dues because it was the last pay yeah. dues. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that be, one reason I like that, like you know, I did really, really well on the show. But eh, we recorded it, and the videos up to on YouTube. The whole, the whole uh, set. What I did was this. This was the type of individual I am. This is why I say, like all that, you can't look at what the content of a person with their music and, and just try to say who they are. Because I know a lot of people that wouldn't have did what I did. Everybody that hung with me got a chance to get on the stage and rap. Everybody. Oh. It wasn't, some of these people didn't even, we didn't have active songs. I just was like, throw this beat on, let them bust. bust Everybody that was with me got on stage and rapped in front of 40,000 people. Cause they was my homies and they was with me. I could have just did a flat out rifleman set and not let nobody touch nothing. Every single person, even Kazoo. Okay. I don't know if y'all remember Crazy Ass Kazoo. Yeah. Crazy Ass Kazoo got up there and and a, uh and um like a karate outfit, you know, with the dragon <laughs> shit, and then and then this the little gi? It was yes, the gi? yes, and then and then a lay, a big ass lay. Uh -huh. You feel me? Because I told the dude, I said, you know, I said you need a persona like uh, like a wrestler. So he listened and then he did the shit, and it actually worked. Because people was like, some people came up to me and him was together, and then it was a couple of chicks. They was like, can we get a picture? And then we like, yeah. And then she was like, no, no, with him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn. Yeah, right. <laughs> and he had to play it up, do like a karate pose or some shit. I was like, that was dope, though. I could not hate because I'm the one who told him to do it. Yeah, yeah. That, and it worked. But it worked because of the, it, and it's also uh, the creativity level and just, uh, what it, I don't want to say stagnation with a show like that. I mean, you don't get really get that, but I, it's not the same thing as you just saw. Right. Like you just did something completely different. You know what I mean? That's dope, man. Yeah, no, it, that that show was 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 uh was customized for that day. That's so. that, and that's how it, it works as an artist too. Like someone that, that really is into their craft. I mean, uh, you you. You consider that, like, wh wh who you're performing for and stuff like that, man. Hey, Shay, you got anything else? We're going to get into the rabbit fire round I just in a got sec. a couple for that round. That's okay, we just got a couple go quick ahead. questions quick question. to end it, and then we'll, uh, we'll let them know where they can get at everything and all that stuff. But, man, uh, uh, I, w I wanted to know uh, your favorite R&B singer chick. Me? Yeah. Of all time or? or uh, uh, yeah, all time, or, or, or it could be top couple if you have a couple. Shaka Khan. Oh, hell yeah. Easily okay. and now, I don't know what what realm of um where Sade fits in in R and B or soul or pop. Well, worldly. I think Sade. I was gonna say she's probably maybe somewhere in my you know. No, that's why I say it. I don't know if, if that fits into the the okay the maybe, okay yeah. Realm. Let me take R and B out. How about oh, top, female top, okay. top female singers yeah, in the world? Sade and Shaka Khan. Period. <laughs> Sade and Shaka Khan yeah. and. And my family know I love them to death. And yeah. I've actually seen both of them perform. Oh, that's... I've actually got to see them, you know, like when it comes to um if 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 I people that I'd be like, I have to see, I saw them. That's Run DMC, Earth Wind and Fire, Shaka Khan and Shaw Day. I'm good. Like I like I and I like other people, you know, uh Phil Collins on the drums. Like I like a lot of stuff. My my whole my plethora of music, like, dude, at, at the spot, I, I run, um, since my, my bro passed away, um, they were gearing him up at, a, at the print shop to be the co-owner. So I took that position now. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, I'm being geared up to be the co-owner of a print shop. Man, I be in there, Sick. the music that I play, I be in the people looking at me like, damn, what was that? Frank Sinatra, <laughs> Dave Martin. <laughs> Perry Como. I thought you were just gonna play hip hop. You huh? got, yeah, that yeah, part. Yeah. And then they look, and, they, and then they look at me, and because I, I, I go in there like this, they look at me, and they look at because it'll play on the on the screen. I play YouTube, and then they just look, and they be like, you know, some people they be surprised, like, damn, I claim it, I came inside a black owned business off Crenshaw, and Perry hey, Como. Yeah, yeah, well, so, yeah. Okay. I'll be like, yeah, because and then I'll play uh, Duran Duran, Depeche Mode. Like, I keep saying, I am second-generation musician, bro. Mm -hmm. I am not one of these 
ignorant fools is just always banging drums and 808s sometimes just about some wild out that part shit all the time. unhinged like, yeah you, you chill too don't i get it. chill <laughs> don't and get, i relax and i listen to don't get it misconstrued yeah, a very good range of music well you know who i want to but speaking of that uh one of the ones that you know that i you know you you mentioned that you got to see the people you would like to live and yes. one of the here's a group that i've always wanted to see live in it and I still can technically, except for the fact, man, rest in peace, but Charlie Watts, Charlie Watts just died. Drummer. I wanted to see the whole crew, to, uh, the original, but, uh, well, not original because they had another guitar player back in the day, but the Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones. I want to see them live, bro, and I still can technically. Technically, you I'll can. I'll find tickets. Now, guess what? Now, I'm glad you mentioned that. You, you, you seen them? I haven't. Oh, okay. But it comes to the point of this. Ageism in in the urban setting because hip-hop is just a microcosm of the urban setting now ageism is in hip-hop but it's only in hip-hop because it's in the urban setting mm -hmm. you know you'd be in a hood and yeah. they'd be like such your old ass down like yeah. this old ass fool they do the same thing with rapping mm -hmm. now why in the hell is that mitch jagger could perform till he died yeah yeah and then, as soon as you hit over 30 or something, they'd be like, you're an old rapper. Yeah. Especially if you have an opinion on, on a, something that comes out that really just sucks. And then, oh, uh, you're just old. You don't appreciate it. This is the new stuff. No, it, it, but it doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound yeah, good. It, music, it doesn't, it doesn't have resonate with yeah, what's going yeah. on. No, I'm yeah. glad you said that. It is a, a thing in hip-hop. But it's it's... I, I feel it's starting to go away a little bit because um, we're trying a, to make it go there, away. There's a couple of things like, you know, when you still see cats like, you know, Jay-Z and, 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 and uh, 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 2 Chains comes to mind because people don't know. He makes hits for kind of the younger crowd, but he he's, old uh, he's older. And he's he older, didn't, dog. He, he didn't get on until yeah, he was right mid-30s. Yes. From, so did uh, Rick Ross. So from, same uh, thing with Jay-Z. I mean, he was a little older when he No, and, uh, and what's his name? Uh, uh, well, but at, but at least Jay-Z been around yeah. for a long time. Yeah. He didn't crack but it was a long crawl yeah you know because yeah. hawaiian he with, sophie uh, he was a teenager he was with uh disturbing the peace uh what's um oh uh, that was two chains two chains yeah, originally he was he was a uh, titty boy boy yeah yeah, boy. yeah, yeah. yeah dog, that's what's crazy but that's what i'm saying is that's starting to to kind of I feel going and away. And people like us. Like, uh, like we you guys. We keep on going. Planet Asia, yeah, Razz we don't Cast, care nothing you know about I mean? that. Yeah, dog. Still putting out We're still dope going albums. to do it because yeah. I say you put some of us up versus these youngsters, mm -hmm. we going to take them out. And, and you can even go, like, you could do a thing with songs because... Like you guys got catalog, you guys got songs. It ain't just that's always, what people have been talking about. Yeah, it ain't just the, always about Tyler aggressiveness. It, it, you guys got a lot of shit in your yeah. catalog, man. Yeah. So it's, it's, people it's, are talking about who, is, who should uh, the blow do a versus battle with. Like what, what, what other? Collective, I think I know? think the only people that would slightly uh, be challenging, and I still think it, I think even with blow, you're gonna have to um, you're gonna have to Group to pick. Out pick the crews because we too big nobody could nobody well, you could know fuck what? with us right, right. And, and you just say blowed are you crazy Georgie gonna had be like, one. what the yeah. hell we're gonna go get charlie tuna That's we're it. gonna go get jurassic five so we're who, gonna go get ozo Motley. we like come on like are you crazy who who do you think because the homie georgie the one hyro okay he mentioned but you still have to just pick a couple of crews from us you can't yeah. we can't just like no, bombard their ass you would have to assemble verse uh the same amount versus the that's same what amount. i'm saying yeah because the homie georgie mentioned i think he said high road so, too I, I but he said this. living, living legends, legends too and he said if you get it like a crew of eight or whatever like pick look you know what it'd be good but it's hard to do because some of them people are actually bloodians mm -hmm. scarab Okay. From Blow. Oh yeah, 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 and he's from Eli. Yeah. Came to the good life, like yeah. like those That's those true. are That's merch. True. Like okay. get the fuck out of here. Like, you can't, you can't. They they really us. You feel me? Like yeah. Yeah, they got a couple from up top, uh, or Mr. Journeyman, but the rest is really us. You know what I mean? Like those they came from us. Even though they have a good balance of North and South Cali, they they came from us. They was at our spots. You know what I mean? But that would be dope too. You know to put them in with them, and then you would get like. 
Like say like if you did fellowship, hip hop class, C V E and well, maybe O M D. That's what he mentioned. <laughs> you are you go get you still gonna get <laughs> ripped. I don't yeah, care yeah. what that's, nobody that's say. crazy what you said because he mentioned <laughs> that he said he said said. fellowship in there, you probably C R I forgot who uh um uh, you gotta is he? have C V E C V E gotta have C V E and uh uh shit, I forgot who else he mentioned on there I off think top, it, but I would this is how I would do it. Oh, say okay, if we eight. limited if, to four. Okay, four then. And say four and say if we was limited to four, I'd say fellowship, CVE, hip hop clan, and OMD. Uh huh. Because then with OMD, you bring in a whole other crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And two mix is like like he say, my fan base will destroy you. Yeah, you did. Yeah. So he's shown that you that part. You have to. <laughs> you you know what I mean. And Alex is fucking phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. He, gets, he is a phenomenal MC. I remember uh, you know? seeing him perform like. At a Bud Bundy spot years ago, and I told him that when we one of the times we interviewed him, and his hair was like how I showed him most of the time in the <laughs> It's the Life. You know how his hair was hanging. Right? <laughs> That's how I first <laughs> seen him, and he was up there just, uh, dude, it was crazy. And that you know who that dude? It was like a contest, and I was telling him <laughs> about it. You know who won? Uh, it was he was at, at the time he was Will One X. Well, what? Oh, yeah. Will I am? Will I am? No, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ab, At the Ab time, Chad clan. Yeah, dude, it was, it was. Yeah, and he yeah, had a I know. crazy like top. But it, yeah, but they they, the all, time, they all went to high school together. Yeah, At <laughs> Hamilton good. High, I believe. Uh -huh. Was it Uni or Hamilton? I think Hamilton. That was, that was at the time. I, I remember that's how far I've been going to shows, man, since way back. Uh, oh, the rabbit fire round. We're still on it. Uh, I wonder uh, your top three actors, man. If you can narrow it down to three, I, I got oh, a few. Oh, um. Well, I do like uh, Pacino. Yeah. I like the brother. Oh, I, I be forgetting this dude's name. But um, I th I think this dude is the best actor, but I forget his name. He, uh, the dude who played Prince's daddy on Purple Rain. Uh, I be forgetting that dude's name. I think he just passed away, too. And then he was also on... Uh, uh 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 he tales was, from the from and, the hood and he was on he said a, you want the shit you gonna get the shit <laughs> he was on half baked he played samson right <laughs> oh i know how you're talking about the shit. I, I forgot his name though you gonna he played samson shit. samson simpson yeah, yeah and then he was also way back in the day he was on the mod squad as a youngster so this dude Fuck, I forgot his name. me too I'm like uh, but him <laughs> every time i think of incredible yeah, actors i'll be like that dude, yeah yeah everything he played you'd be like there's dudes, I believe you. Yeah, there's dudes in movies, every role, <laughs> believe they're you. believable. Like, no, he's so yeah. believable. Because it was this one thing, when I realized to me he was my favorite actor, uh, it, it's, it's in the movie, I think it's called Sugar Hill. He played uh, he played the father to, to uh, Denzel and the other cat. He played the father, and then the brother gave him some dope, and then because he wanted he wanted him to overdose. So he gave it to him, and then when he, when he shot it up, he said, he was like, Woo! <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh shit, that shit was that's believable, believable boy. yeah. I, uh, he, and then he did that, and then he shook, and then he hit the ground. I said, I said, God damn, that was I, that now was one of the actor. most. That for real, I was like, nigga, you shot up dope before, <laughs> or or he saw somebody do it. He saw somebody. No, it was so incredible. Those to are the me. ones that do their research, man. Uh, yeah, it was it was so incredible to me. I was like. That is it, 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 fire. Well, you know, Sean, Sean Penn's on my list because I feel like no matter, he's played. I've seen him play a, a, a juvenile, like, in prison, like, from way back, the original Bad Boys. And, that, uh, you know, he's played the uh, the guy who had a – he was uh, fuck, mentally handicapped that had a daughter. I don't – what was his name? My name – I forgot. He won – I think he finally won an award for that one. He did the, the other one where he's in prison. Um, the Walking Dead. The or, Walking or, Dead. Or but like he's just – the wide array of shit, fast times at Ridgemont High, yeah, yeah. but Sean Penn's on my list of top, like one of them dudes where you just believe I might, I what might he's doing. Put my third Denzel. Yeah, who's your third? Oh, if I had to think about Denzel, it, that's a, Denzel, that's yeah, Denzel, because sure. he goes from training yeah. day uh -huh. to the Equalizer. Yeah, the Equalizer too. That's my shit. Where he was like, <laughs> when they did something to the girl, and then he was like, he said, "Yeah, well, today." He said, that's not going to work with it because the little white dude gave him like the little black card. And he was just like, here. And then he was like, no. And then he'll look at his watch and then he'll, he'll time that shit. I watch that shit all the time. I'll be like, this fool crazy. Or that one where he played the, um, I like that one where he played a pilot, but he was an alcoholic pilot. Yeah, oh, that was so dope. Yeah. That, that was, Flight or some shit. Uh, yeah, something yeah. like that. It's probably one of his lesser, nobody was good. That no, was good. that is, that, that yeah. was a flight. That's a good movie. Nah. 
I like I like that. And it's almost like he almost have like the same <laughs> lingo. Have you ever seen these dudes do Denzel like the comedians? Oh, the yeah. shit is hilarious. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean like the wow. way the look where he looks to the side. <laughs> yeah. oh, where he does the little yeah. like he did on training day a few no, times. This shit like, is hilarious. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah. wow, they got him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Shay, you I think we've well, said yeah, this. Yeah, I've always said like Bruce Willis, I, I mean he's not the greatest no. actor. But but I love Bruce all Willis, his movies. All his roles, every are, movie are, is no, he's fire. Yeah, and no, Tom Hanks fire. is another one too. Tom Hanks. Is I, I love Tom Hanks. Yeah. He, I was just watching really the Apollo dope. Apollo Thirteen the other day, Doug. He says, yeah, he's a good actor, man. Hey, uh, uh, let's go, man. I, I oh, a, let me get one. Uh, oh yeah. on the same subject though, well, like out of it, speaking of movies, like what genre is your like favorite genre? Is it like you know horror, comedy, uh, gangster shit? He, he said it first. Horror. Horror. Oh really? Oh, that's oh, that's sure. first. Sci-fi. I like the I like the gangster second. flicks. Okay, good. Oh, you're a sci-fi. Crime. That's, that's Look, it's like. horror, sci-fi, then crime. Yeah. See, and this is why we do this, cause maybe off top, upon meeting uh, L.A. Cool, Mr. Rifleman, you might not know that he likes sci-fi. You no, probably sci-fi. wouldn't. <laughs> Look, sci-fi and horror is just like this to me. It's just like yeah. because you know, I love like. I'm a Dragon Ball Z type of dude. Okay, yeah. You know, I like Anime. all all this stuff where. Uh, the Avengers and okay. like all this stuff is dope to me. That's you know, I like things to because my imagination as an artist. Yeah, I always thought about it before. I read the books before they ever could actually make it happen on film. Right. So yeah. then yeah. when that's I see it now, I'll be yeah. like, "That's crazy!" Yeah. Or you could see, "Oh, that wasn't how it went in the comics." <laughs> that you could part. Tell when they that's how my it. brother. Yeah. That's how my brother no, is when I they go. I love that yeah. shit because my imagination. I'm always in a whole other universe, and then when I can see another universe, I'm yeah. like, "That shit is dope." It's, it's almost like I imagine it. Then yeah. Sometimes it's nothing like I imagine, yeah, yeah. but it's still dope. I love these sci-fi movies. Let, let me tell y'all this. When the whole COVID shit kicked in, all I was watching, horror. <laughs> horror. Every night. I don't even know why. I just like, I just go and I just, I say like, all right, what's this movie? Because me, like I was telling y'all earlier, I don't have a lot of fear about anything, you know, and, and growing up where I grew up and then plus, of course, getting shot in the neck, it, it, it just alleviates some of the, any fear. Like, I, I don't I'm not fearful well, I, of a yeah, lot. Yeah, like I was scared of it, but it already happened. So, that now, part, yeah, yeah, it happened. So I'm like, uh, you know, things don't scare me. Yeah. You know, a, a, a bear charging gonna scare me. Yeah. But like, you know, a crazy movie, I try to get charged up. That's why I watch them. I try to be like, I watch the shit in the dark and, you know, it's like, uh, and make you know, it have an effect that part. <laughs> give a give a, uh, a a shrub capsule or something. It's like try to like tweak it out. <laughs> I want to be scared. Yeah. I want to get a joke like, oh, shit. You know, and then sometimes I like those movies where it's like it's quiet as hell. Oh, and then all of a sudden, and then stuff like out of nowhere, you like, like, okay, that kind of scares me. All of a sudden, you're looking out the window and it's raining, and then you just see a old white lady's head go. That part, that part. You know, I like those creepy things where it's like, say, if you if you in your you in your your bed or something, and then in the dark, then maybe you just see like a five year old really pale white chick at the edge of your bed. <laughs> that's what that is. shit would be scary as fuck. <laughs> that's what it, it don't always even is. be like the giants or the big crazy people. It's like, what is your little crazy I think that happened dude? to me before in real life. <laughs> 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 Luckily, she jumped out the window. <laughs> You're like, what are you doing here? So on that, though, the, on the superhero thing that we were talking about, so I'm who's your that. top character, though, out of all? Like, Oh, um, oh, oh, that's, that's hard. Um, oh. Well, uh, before I, I was in Dragon Ball Z, I, I would probably say possibly like Wolverine type of dude. Yeah, I like but that. um, you know, I start I start getting into uh, Goku, and then but but I'm more of a of a, a Vegeta in real life. Hmm. So yeah, of course, you know Goku's the coolest. He like Superman, yeah. but me, I personally, I'm more like Vegeta. Yeah. I got a chain with Vegeta on it, you know. I, I, I like Vegeta, you know, because I'm viewed like Vegeta. People think he a bad guy, but he only be trying to help. You know, he help in his own way. It's just like, but he, he don't. He, sometimes he don't know how to approach it. Like he's not like a say like Goku is like uh, Micah. 
Right. Midst of all love, it's all good, no problems. And the Vegeta people, they, they don't know how to deal with Vegeta, but he, he has a good heart, but he don't let nobody do nothing crazy to him. You know, Goku, you got to drag the fight out of him. It's all peaceful. That's Mike and I. So like, say like what we did the, the the Overkill song. It's a it's a it's a bar that go, and he say he say he say Superman, and then I say Wolverine fucking up the team, uh, uh something up a fame we be fucking up your dreams. So 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 he say you know, but I wrote this part where it says because I looked at me and him like I said so Mike and I is like crazy. Superman. I said I'm like Wolverine. You know, I'm more rough, I'm more rugged, I'm more raw. You know, like, Superman, he does everything. He's this, you know, just handsome figure, blue eyes and shit. Little, pretty pretty much yeah, perfect, you know, that like, perfect curl. The curl that <laughs> come right in the middle of the forehead. And then Wolverine is, like, half shaven and yeah. metal and just, like, but he's 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 hard to, to, yeah. to, to, to destroy. Yeah. yeah, and he's been through a lot of He's been through shit. a lot of crazy. Look, you know what's funny? I think I'm going to have to say Wolverine because you know what's funny? Look, when I got shot, man, I had to do this that little scan thing where you got to stay in it 20 minutes, and then they, they shoot you with that die shit. That shit was horrible. I broke out of there and everything. But look, this is what I told myself. I was like, two characters, and they're actually the ones that I just named. I said, it's like Goku and, and uh, uh, what they call it, the hyperbolic chamber. He had to go there and... You know, restore itself. The Weapon X uh, project. He had to yeah, restore yeah. itself. So, but it, and it was painful. And the same thing when they gave uh, Wolverine the medal. Yeah, he was one. in pain, right? Yeah. He had to go through through the pain. But then at the end of it, you know, I'm gonna be way stronger. And so, cause I was I was tortured inside this little box. For oh, like dog, that minutes. is claustrophobic. I, no, but yeah, but yeah, to yeah. die, I'm allergic to the die. Oh, but we didn't right. know it either. Oh, okay. So I'm in there, and my whole shit is like I'm uh, like. So I'm just in there, and they like don't move. You can't move at all. I was like, I'm about to die. <laughs> Something's so fat. Yeah, I yeah, I, I, yeah. Something going on in here. But I had to tell myself in there. I was like, I was like the hyperbolic chamber. This is painful, but you're gonna when you get out of here. Think superhero. You goddamn right. Yeah. I went right into superhero <laughs> mode. <laughs> <laughs> mine is uh, mine is Spider Man though, because uh, like I feel it's like uh, you feel like I kind of see myself in him because he's kind of nerd, kind of nerdy. No, you but, have but that. You have was, that was, Peter Parker vibe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, and, and, and I like to you know make Whitey Parker fuck around. Whitey Parker, that's a bar. Uh, hell yeah, joke around. That's it's just the way bar. he would kick people's ass and make wisecracks at the same time. That was great, like to me. No, I, <laughs> like, I love Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. Spider Man's dope. Uh, Superman yeah. seems like too much of the obvious. Obviously, when I was young, like oh, Superman Everybody was dope. But yeah, but I I I started. Uh, going a little more to kind of Wolverine too back in the like you know I haven't kept up on it as much as I usually do but uh but bro Wolverine's always been but you know what I like in these films now I like Thor ass oh yeah well they those are some fire. of the good mo yeah the the movies Captain are America too. movie is fire. yeah the, the you know, Captain America because I never read the com I was never into the comics of Captain America I thought it was nice it's too pretty it's too, the yeah. character didn't re didn't work for me but when they showed him the in the movie. movies. I was like, oh, no, shit. he's dope. Yeah, that's why I say I like sci-fi because yeah. the, what you read or don't read, but then when you see it on film, you like, that's what the superhero shit should look like. Hey, um, like Wonder Woman fire too though. Oh yeah, hey, some of them. Oh man, them superhero chicks is like yeah, fire. I'll be, right. I, if they were real, like I would probably have been a superhero groupie for the yeah, chicks. like the green one. What's your name on the, Guardians of the Galaxy? The green, oh, the, the green fire. chick. Uh, hey. I love that movie. Yeah, that's that's the shit. I, I could watch that all the time. Hell I like yeah. that one. They, they, uh, they, there's a, I, man, man. I hope. Well, movie wise, like, um, there's a lot of good stuff, but I feel like I hope they get away from remaking shit and get back to doing some original new content. Yeah. Man, that would be dope. Hey, um, speaking of that, man, original new content. Let them know the new stuff and all that, and also where they can get at you on social media. Man. All right, um. Remember I was saying earlier about uh, me rebranding, you know, my yeah. brand, Cali Classics. So I stopped putting stuff out for the most part on my original YouTube, which is Rifle Mania okay. uh, TV. I created Cali Classics TV. That's where all the stuff been coming out now. The new stuff. The new stuff. So okay. that's on Cali Classics TV on YouTube. You can go subscribe over there. Look at all the videos. You know, I was doing... Uh, like little skits and all sort of stuff on there. Battle rap content. I was doing everything. 
on there. You know, I'm still uh, figuring all that out, but it is Cali Classic TV. Check it. Um, on, um, what is that, Facebook. I'm L.A. Cool. That's E-L-L-A-Y-K-H-U-L-E. Even though Facebook seems to be, like, really at a really slow, like, pace right now. I don't know yeah. what's going on. Anyway, so that's over there. And then, which is most active and most cracking, is uh, Instagram. Check them. up right now. OG underscore Cali underscore Classics. And that's where you can find the clothing, the music content, the the... The, the discord between me and the Talibers, <laughs> all that is going on over there now. And you could also see the work, man, with the crewmates, man, the bloatians. The, yeah, you're going to see bullies. the homies. You're yeah. going to see, like, a lot of, uh, you know, behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I put stuff on the IGTV. I do a lot of stories. You see my workouts. I, I do a lot of stuff over there but i try to make it more well-rounded than just an artist page because yeah. it's not just an artist page it's actually my brand cali classic get you so, some gear while you're yeah, over there a listening lot of to stuff some project tunes. blow gear is hip-hop clan gear rifleman gear you know uh i also do uh the bullies the good the, the life good bullies. life bullies, bullies gear yeah. i customize stuff so if you know you want your own stuff going on we do that as well i do birthday stuff ho holidays everything you know we do uh when, when your cousin die and, and you need him on the picture with the names we do all of that I see man. all the female stuff you got too right the booty yeah, shorts all that you stuff. Win. we do yeah. all, all right. that for the for the chicks you know Ain't it's high level it. yeah. you know it's high level with yeah. the with the, with the females you feel me so you know, because well, why I do that is because of this. When they think urban and they think hip-hop clothing, it's always just shirts and hoodies. Mm -hmm. Maybe hats. And then it's hard to involve the females. Because, you know, females pay. They, they, you know, we all... Got females. They're the ones who buy the merch. Oh, what? Yeah. So what are we talking about? Yeah. They buy the event tickets. They buy the merch. Oh, they right. The they food. the ones spending the dough. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. of us dudes be trying to like, can I get the low? Can I get it for free? That's how dudes are. But the women, they be like, if I like it, I'm on. Yeah. And yeah. and if you're a righteous dude, when you take a chick somewhere, hopefully you buy her something, man. Go get her some that OG part. Cali Classic that booty part. shorts. You, yeah, you want to have your girl looking hot and sexy. Man, put her in some of them Cali classics. Fly. <laughs> like, man, it's, you know, I, I get so many uh, females and models from all around the world. You know, some of the stuff is, you can't even post the stuff. You know, it's like, uh, damn, like, it, where, what happened to the shorts? <laughs> it's like, shit. <laughs> They're sitting oh, next fuck. to her. Where, like, where but they? but oh, you fuck. can still see OG Cali yeah, classics. So, She's butt you know, naked, though. Yeah, <laughs> on a, on a, so, you know, I try, I try to be mindful. They're in there somewhere. <laughs> They're hanging in the closet. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on? <laughs> You see them right there. I just try to be to mindful with all of that, yeah. you know. But you know, yeah, it is. You know, I just try to uh, include a little bit of everybody. You know, I got kids' clothes and I, I got everything. So you know, it's, it's I try to make it more well-rounded than just oh, these are just t-shirts and hats and hoodies. Co which coming is cool. soon, some OG Cali classics nipple tassels for the ladies. <laughs> oh, yeah, fire! Coming soon. Don't worry, yeah. I can. I do, you know, now like I say, I, you know, I'm running the print shop now, so all the print it, it'll go. Any right. ideas, it'll go. I'll, I'll have everything. You feel me? Yeah. So, you know, that's what we doing. And, and, and watch out for all the hip-hop clan stuff coming. The, um, nice. the the next project we have dropping is the Project Blow Hardcore Street Hop Division Volume 2, which is basically a compilation of, you know, some of the folks that uh, you rarely hear or, you know, some of the rare homies. You know, I'm trying to get the song from Longevity right now. You know, got Mr. CR. We got Maestro. Uh, Monstro, I'm sorry, uh, Monstro. We have a uh, Micah Nine. We uh, we have, of course, Mr. Cr, God mm -hmm. Reef, uh, Quasar. Nice. We, we got a lot of people on the project, and it's almost ready to go. I even got a uh, Voodoo on the song. Nice. You feel me? Yeah. I'm just waiting for this verse from Two Mix, but of course, the stuff with all all this I live stuff, it got us all in go right now. But you know, so we, we kind of uh, embellishing and, and, and using the moment for what it is. So I'm not tripping. You know, uh, we're not in no rush to do anything. But I am. I need a. I need that verse from Two Mix, and and I think I need the song for longevity. That's coming. I know soon. it's coming. Yeah, 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 it's coming. And That's some of these right. songs gonna be on that project too. One of these these diss tracks from Jalea, I have to put it on the Hardcore Street by Division, which I wasn't gonna do, but I think I'm gonna do it now since you know it's it, we we having fun with it. People are feeling it, man. It's part of hip hop. It is yeah. what it is, man. Let's I love keep, it. Let's keep it on wax, man. We'll keep uh you know grinding it out, man. Thank you for coming. Yes, through, sir. Man. 
uh, OG right. Cali Classics, a.k.a. Right. L.A. Right. Cool, a.k.a. The Fightful Man. Uh, man, it's, it's been a pleasure uh, sitting down and chopping it up, man. We kept it real, and hopefully people got a little more insight on everything, man, tonight. Yes, so. yes, yes. Shout out to the world. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Any any more shout outs if you got them? Man, man, this is a shout out to the world. Shout out to the Hardcore Street Hop Division Project Blow. Right. We're coming for you, baby. West. And on that note, we're out of here, Rabbit Season Podcast. Peace. Peace.